Cosmology time is force. Four-dimensional dynamics cosmology. This page consists of four parts. 1. Conventional cosmology and interpretation. 2. The cosmic model proposed by this cosmology. 3. Quiet Big Bang Theory with no singularity. 4. The theory of everything induced by time is force, summary. Cosmology time is force, four-dimensional dynamics cosmology. 1. Conventional cosmology and interpretation. Theoretical physics cosmology time is force started writing in 2008. The dynamics of the expanding universe cause the speed of light, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. This expanding space is a four-dimensional space. It was an intellectual adventure that I started by fumbling around, but I think I was able to explain the unexpected cosmic principle, theory of everything or grand unified field theory, in a very simple and unified way. The theory of everything is a theory that describes four forces that exist in the natural world, namely, electromagnetic force, weak force, strong force, and gravity. I thought that it is possible to make a theory of everything by estimating only one force instead of the existence of various forces. Theoretical physics is a field of physics that builds theories based on theoretical models and theoretical assumptions, explains known experimental facts in natural phenomena, and predicts unknown phenomena. The Cosmology Time is Force, which I started writing in 2008, has been published on the net and has been published. The discoveries and proposals made since the beginning of the research are published on the website in a chronological format. In 2019, it became the only cosmology that integrated the causes of electromagnetic and nuclear forces and encompassed the theory of everything. The speed of light, gravity, mass, and time are generated from the expansion of space. Cosmology time is force is a four-dimensional dynamics cosmology that gives insight into the causes of light speed, gravity, mass, charge, and time. It explains the spatial principle by which the universe is observed as an infinitely expanding universe to individual observers. In fact, neither gravity nor time can be explained by current physics. I thought that if I thought freely in this unknown area, I would be able to see something else. We started by thinking that time is not our concept but a system that works like waves to move elementary particles. An image of gravity and time. When we shoot with a camera, we set a fast shutter speed for fast-moving objects. Still, the subject expresses time as a blur. Even if it is a still image, the phenomenon cannot be confirmed without the depth of time in which the flow of time is recorded. If time stops, we imagine a landscape where all movement has stopped. However, if there is no time energy, the movement of atoms will stop and the space itself will disappear. Neither light can be light nor matter can maintain its form. When a scientist thinks about the problem of gravity and time, I would like to explain from the macro-universe image to the micro-elementary particle world with one theory. But he doesn't necessarily mean that the things that make up time and gravity are things that have size. First thing I wondered. Don't you think it's unnatural that the light emitted from the light source suddenly becomes the speed of light? It seems possible if there is a built-in system that carries photons into space. If the space is expanding, is there a decrease in density in both gravity and time? Is the drop in temporal energy balanced by a drop in temporal actuation speed? It is said that the natural world prefers symmetry, so anti-gravity is imagined against gravity, anti-matter against matter, and anti-universe against universe. Also, it seems that there are things that can be reproduced in the laboratory, but their existence in the real world has not been confirmed. The symmetry that I thought of is not anti-something, but gravity and time, which seem to be heterogeneous, are actually cooperating to create the expanse of space-time. The way time energy works is like a conveyor belt carrying elementary particles moving at the speed of light. The photon on the conveyor belt becomes the speed of light at that moment instead of the accelerated motion. Assuming that time is a system that works like a wave and moves elementary particles, we think that light and particles travel through space riding on this time wave. All particles are affected by time, 
so there are no stationary lights or particles. The energy of time creates separation between particles and is the force that supports the existence of matter. Considering that gravity works in the direction of shrinking space and time works in the direction of diffusing, are the two forces fundamentally the same? Wave Cosmic Model Suppose our universe is one of the concentric waves created when you throw a pebble into water. Waves look like they're moving, but they don't move, they just vibrate up and down. Is something similar happening in space? In other words, the universe expands because the wave energy propagates to the surroundings. Does it mean that outer space is filled with unknown materials that make up the universe? Since the density of the universe is not so high, it is no wonder that it is filled with unknown materials. It seems that there will be an unknown space surrounding the universe. Since the wave expands while maintaining the initial energy, the energy density becomes smaller. Since this observation universe spreads like a wave with the spread of space without a center, it has the conditions as an expanding universe model. The range of space we can observe. The current real universe is an independent universe that has already lost its relevance to the Big Bang, but what we see is the information of light arriving along the droplet-shaped surface, continuous time surface. This is observed like a multiple exposure photograph from the past to the present. Even in the Big Bang cosmology, if the space before the Big Bang is not assumed, it causes a logical contradiction. We also define that the energy of the initial explosion is expanding the universe to this day, but recent observations have confirmed that further accelerated expansion is occurring. And he said the mechanism producing this accelerated expansion is currently unknown. Creating a map of the universe, universe that spreads out like a wave. This space map is drawn as a two-dimensional model, but if you look at it as a rotating body on the vertical axis, it can be seen as a four-dimensional expansion space model of three dimensions plus time. Explanation of Space Diagram Animation A bird's-eye view of the entire universe from the outside, showing the expansion of 13.8 billion years and the path of light reaching the Earth. Light arrives at the Earth along a drop-shaped surface, continuous time plane. The inside of the drop shape is the part that used to be the root of light in the past. The expansion of the universe that began in the macrocosm is represented as S1 to S7. If the interval between concentric circles is 2 billion years, the current universe is the seventh one, so it will be 14 billion years. The reach limit of light shown in the figure is the range of this outer space. Outside the limit of light reach is the area of the container of the universe, not our spacetime. Light reach limit. Diffusion of light that started from the Big Bang has continued for about 13.8 billion years. In other words, the age of the universe and the radius of the universe are equal. We call the observable spacetime range of this wave universe the universe. This observable spacetime range is different from the real universe, ring direction because it is a recorded image of the past. We can go back about 13.8 billion years in the past, but we can't see the universe at the same time, which is expanding at the speed of light. Thickness of the expanding sphere If this figure is viewed as a rotating body on the vertical axis, it becomes an expanding spherical three-dimensional model. In this case, there is a spread of 13.8 billion light years asterisk 3.14 in the direction along the sphere, x, y, but a large value cannot be assumed in the thickness direction, z, of the sphere. This will be the surface, 2d, of the sphere in which our universe expands. Do we still need another coordinate axis? Or is it a thin space in the z direction? But are you looking at an imaginary thickness of 13.8 billion light years in the past direction? Also, if the surface of the sphere is considered to be three dimensional, it becomes a four dimensional model by inserting time, but it is difficult to understand as an image. The structure of space time, the spiral structure of the past, and the conical structure of the future. Assuming that the length of the spiral curve is 13.8 billion light years, the actual light path is the oblique side of the isosceles triangle formed by the actual space distance and the time distance. The speed is 70% of the speed of light. 
Since the real radius is 9.7 billion light years, the great circle of the spherical universe is 2 times 97 x pi equals 61 billion light years. This is the size when going around the space sphere. The expansion of space that started from the Big Bang has continued for about 13.8 billion years. We call the observable space-time range of this wave universe the universe. Since this observable space-time range is a recorded image in the past, it is different from the real universe, ring direction. We can go back about 13.8 billion years in the past, but we can't see the universe at the same time. The cosmic coordinates with our Earth have not changed from the relative coordinate positions when the past universe was still small. In other words, the observer's coordinates are expanding in the same way as the expansion of the universe, so the relative position in the universe does not change. So we can observe the expanding universe in all directions. Also, the future spacetime that can move at a speed of 20 to 30 percent of the speed of light is the range shown by the future spacetime cone. In this figure, it is a cone showing 10 billion years into the future. If you can move at the speed of light, the apex angle of the cone is 90 degrees. There are infinitely many worlds based on the same principle, even if they are not high-dimensional or multidimensional spaces. See the diagram on the left. The observation points are written on the left, right, upper and lower sides of the space map that I have explained so far. Both of these observation points exist in real space 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang, but the light of the same age cannot be confirmed mutually. And it is thought that the same universe is observed from these observation points. There is a possibility that there is a planet similar to the Earth in this alternate space-time, but there is neither going nor information arriving. If we were to anticipate the arrival of aliens, there is a high possibility that they would come from this other space-time, but in that case it would be impossible if he didn't have space navigation that would allow him to teleport. What creates time, the system that carries light? It is thought that the secret of the system that carries light is hidden in the structure of the universe. Our space is made up of oxygen atoms and nitrogen atoms, but he has a vacuum space between these atoms. This vacuum space is continuous with the vacuum of the macrocosm. Since outer space is expanding at the speed of light, photons that do not have mass separated from matter are directly affected by the expansion of space, so they appear to diffuse at the speed of light from the observer's point of view. Also, since the stars, galaxy desks and chairs are mutually connected by gravity, they are inflated with respect to the coordinate system of the Big Bang in a lumped state. It was thought that there was nothing space, but in fact this space is filled with vacuum energy, and photons are observed as the speed of light as a result of being dragged by the expansion of space-like particles floating in a solution. Since the expanding state is considered to be a natural state that conforms to the law of inertia, photons with no mass move in the same way as the expansion of space, so from the point of view of us staying in space, we can observe it as the speed of light. b. A galaxy collision imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope. This image is also a great achievement of Hubble. It's hard to get a sense of the scale, but each of them corresponds to a galaxy. The distance between each star in these galaxies is several light years apart, and such sparse galaxies move like one object in this way, and collisions like this occur. Hubble discovered space expansion by observing distant stars, but the expansion of space and the expansion of galaxies are not the same thing. It is thought that the expansion of space is simply expanding, but some distances between galaxies are moving away, and some are approaching and colliding. If the expansion of the universe started from a single point, he thinks there would be no collision of galaxies like this. It is said that the Andromeda galaxy next to the Milky Way galaxy will collide with the Milky Way galaxy in the future. Since we cannot observe the small movements of distant galaxies, we observe that the galaxies are moving away from us due to the large movements, recession velocity, of distant galaxies. The galaxy is moving in the expanding space, but it cannot be observed because the amount of individual movement is small. Observations by the WMAP satellite which observes cosmic background radiation. 
It is understood that 70% of the material energy in the entire universe is dark energy, 25% is dark matter, and hydrogen and helium, which are thought to occupy most of the substances we observe, account for only about 5%. The light observable by the WMAP satellite is an apparent cosmic image arriving at the Earth along the continuous time plane. We are trying to understand all of the universe by observing 5% of the shining matter. Hubble Ultra Deep Field The exploration area is about 1 degree of Fornax. It was conducted from September 24, 2003 to January 16, 2004 using a faint object camera and an infrared camera. More than 10,000 galaxies with a redshift of Z equals 3, approximately 11.7 billion light-years, or more are displayed in the obtained image, including Z equals 6 to 7, approximately 12.89 billion light-years to a galaxy about 13.06 billion light-years away was also visible. We also obtained images of various strange-shaped galaxies among ordinary spiral and elliptical galaxies. This photograph was taken of outer space from a starless part of the Milky Way with an angle of view of about 1 degree. There is no origin direction of the Big Bang in the universe it is thought that the same Big Bang image will be obtained regardless of the direction taken. This photo has an angle of view of about 1 degree, but in reality, the small universe in the early stages of the Big Bang is projected onto the entire celestial sphere. It's strange that the universe that is enlarged and projected is projected with such a density. It is thought that there are multiple optical paths connecting the early universe and the Earth in the direction of the longitude of the universe. As a result, it is thought that he observes the same place in various directions and at various times. Otherwise the early universe, which is projected onto the celestial sphere, would not appear so dense to him. Are the three coordinate axes converging into one? The Big Bang universe seems to have three coordinate axes converging into one. Does this look like the coordinate axis of the three-dimensional space is extending toward the Big Bang? Therefore, the coordinate axis connecting the Big Bang from the coordinate origin is the fourth time axis. In this way, the Big Bang theory is the idea that the coordinate system itself has expanded since the Big Bang and has become the current universe. This is a theory system that ignores the outside of the singularity because it is a cosmology in which existence arises from nothing. Space map drawn by the Sloan Digital Sky Survey The Sloan Digital Sky Survey was launched in 2000. It is a project to create a detailed map of the universe by observing more than 25% of the entire sky with a dedicated optical telescope and precisely measuring the positions, brightness and distances of galaxies and quasars contained within that range. This is a cross-section plotting the distance and direction to the galaxy, and from this observation, the bubble structure of the universe was inferred. The distance from the observation point means time at the same time. The bubble structure of the universe means that the arrangement of galaxies contains empty parts like bubbles. A cosmic map drawn from the 2DF Galactic Redshift Survey. Performed from 1997 to April 11, 2002 with the 3.9M telescope at the Anglo-Australian Observatory. This is a comet hunting observation that measures the redshifts of many galaxies. This survey mapped the large-scale structure of the universe for a portion of the near-field universe. This survey is his second-largest redshift survey after his Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which began in 2000. Bubble Structure of Galaxy Array Images from the Hubble Ultra Deep Field and from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey show bubble-like features in the alignment of galaxies. This refers to a structure in which the galaxies are not uniformly scattered in the vacuum of outer space, but rather the galaxies are stuck to the surface of the bubble. This may be a unique pattern created by the expansion space like a loaf of bread. A Big Bang model that started from a single point. When the expansion of outer space was confirmed, scientists went back in time to the expansion of space and came to the idea that the Big Bang started from one point. However, I can't explain it because I think that the Big Bang universe started from a state where there was no matter of the size of a single atom and no space. A car's windshield starts at a single point that triggers the brake, 
and that is the point at which a pebble hits the glass. The world where this glass cracking is progressing is his glass spacetime. Therefore, when observing the beginning of cracking from the spacetime of the glass, it is observed as if it started from one point. Newton's Laws of Motion Newtonian mechanics regards a mass point as the mass point with no size and all the mass is concentrated at the center of gravity, and formulates the properties of the motion of the mass point into laws, and proposes the following three laws of motion. In addition, he also considers these laws to be the basis for mass points, continuous bodies such as rigid elastic fluids, that cannot be regarded as mass points. First law, law of inertia. A mass point is at rest or in uniform linear motion unless force acts on it, describe the law of motion using the coordinate system that satisfies this. Second law, Newton's equation of motion. The acceleration of the mass point is then proportional to the force F acting on the mass point, and inversely proportional to the mass M of the mass point. F equals MA. The third law, law of action and reaction. When forces act mutually between two mass points 1 and 2, the force F21 acting from mass point 2 to mass point 1 and the force F12 acting from mass point 1 to mass point 2 are equal and opposite. Many laws and theorems in mechanics are basically derived from the above three laws. Also, the equation of motion, which is the second-order ordinary differential equation of the position vector with respect to time, is an equation that determines the state of motion at any time given the position and momentum, or velocity, at a certain time. Assuming the law of conservation of energy holds. If you interpret Einstein's E equals mc superscript 2 literally, the energy will be the product of the square of the material mass and the expansion velocity. However, the speed of light c is considered to be the same as the expansion speed. Among these three elements, c and m can be changed. Therefore, when the amount of matter decreases, the expansion speed becomes faster, or when the amount of matter increases, the expansion speed slows down. In the past universe, galaxies appear to be densely distributed in a narrow space. As the universe expands, the distribution density of matter decreases and the expansion rate increases this is thought to indicate the accelerated expansion of the universe. Can we say that a supernova explosion is a scene where matter is converted into energy? What is a black hole in general relativity? It is defined as an area that cannot have a causal relationship with other areas of spacetime in the future. Is it because the gravitational sphere is extremely small that the supermassive black hole, which is said to be at the center of the Milky Way, is stable without swallowing us? Considering this, it is impossible to think of anything that the black hole swallows other than the one that goes straight towards her black hole. I think it is more appropriate to think that the black hole is not an explanation of the gravitational field that even light cannot escape but that the temporal drop is large and it has deviated from the observable spacetime. I wrote it as a temporal drop, but what is actually happening in the black hole and its surroundings is that the expansion speed, light speed, is extremely slow. Therefore, the temporal depression and the extremely slow expansion speed have the same meaning. In other words, he thinks that the expansion of space is discontinuous in a black hole. Expansion speed, speed of light, equals operating speed of time therefore c slash t equals 1. This shows the origin of the principle of constancy of the speed of light. The actual expansion speed, light speed, is different in the interior of the substance and in the vacuum space, but when he tries to measure the expansion speed, light speed, in all places, the result is the same. Considering that the speed of light is a photon carried to the expansion of space, light cannot exist when the expansion of space disappears. Since the black hole is compressed to an ultra-high density, there is a possibility that it does not have space inside. In that case, the continuity of the space will be lost, so any observation will not be possible. Einstein's Ideas Einstein's famous formula E equals mc superscript 2 says that the product of matter and the square of the speed of light is energy, but what is happening in the universe is the opposite. In other words, the energy changed into matter and the speed of light, expansion speed. 
And now it is thought that the expansion of the universe is accelerating because matter is turning into energy like the nuclear energy of stars and supernova explosions. The speed of light is constant for any inertial frame. Gravity and acceleration are equivalent, and gravity distorts space and time. Gravity distorts time as well as space. Is this because gravity is considered higher than time? If time is not a constant speed, neither the speed of light nor gravity, expansion acceleration, can be determined. Is there a mechanism that creates time in an area that we do not yet know? Or is time simply a concept invented to perceive changes in things? About Einstein's conjecture of time. Time slows down in a strong gravitational field. It is thought that the expansion speed of space is slow near a strong gravitational field, that is, a black hole. This is equivalent to the slow operation speed of time, so time progresses slowly. About the slow passage of time in an accelerated rocket. In a rocket that accelerates, the expansion speed of space is relatively slow, so time progresses more slowly than the clock on the ground. Since v is the speed of the rocket, the denominator is zero at the speed of light. After writing so far, I finally understood the mystery of Einstein's time. If there is no expansion of space, atomic vibration will not occur and the atomic clock will stop. And the photon on the expansion wave has zero time. Einstein equation. This is the field equation that describes the gravitational field of universal gravitation that Einstein derived in 1916 in his general theory of relativity. It is an equation that extends Newton's law of universal gravitation so that it can be applied to strong gravitational fields. They come. It is also known as Einstein's gravitational field equation. I still don't understand the difficult Einstein equation, but I felt that it was very compatible while writing the cosmology time is force. I think that it is the same if you replace the speed of light with the expansion speed of space. Einstein's era did not think that the universe was expanding, so it was not possible to think about the cause of the speed of light and gravity. According to general relativity, a massive object distorts the surrounding spacetime. That is, gravity is explained as a distortion of spacetime. Einstein equation, which is expressed as follows, is the theoretical conclusion. The left-hand side is a geometric quantity that expresses how spacetime is curved, curvature of spacetime, and the right-hand side is a quantity that expresses the distribution of the matter field. Roughly speaking, if we substitute a substance or energy like a star into the right side, we can read how the spacetime around that substance is curved. If the distortion of the space is determined, the equation of motion of the matter moving in that space is determined, so the distribution of matter will also change. This formula expresses that expansion acceleration that is distorting space equals energy. This formula contains g and c, but it's just a relationship to Newton. I thought that the reason why the space can be distorted is that the speckle of the material density of the space becomes the speckle, acceleration, of the expansion speed of the space, which is the cause of gravity. I think that it is ambiguous whether the structure of outer space is of a nature that can be represented by an equation because an element that is considered not to be a linear change called the accelerated expansion of the universe has entered. Planck Unit System it is a system of natural units proposed by Max Planck, 1858 to 1947. The Planck unit system defines the following constant as one. Simplification of physical equations. The Planck unit system defines the speed of light in vacuum, the universal gravitational constant, the Dirac constant, the Coulomb force constant, and the Boltzmann constant as one. This is equivalent to thinking that the expansion energy of the space is the only energy. In addition, the large number hypothesis proposed by Dirac in 1937 noticed that the value of 10 to the 40th power, or its square, appears in the dimensionless numbers obtained from some basic physical constants as follows. Ratio of the strength of the proton-electron electromagnetic force to the gravitational force. The age of the universe and the ratio of the time that light travels in the radius of the proton. The number of protons and neutrons in the universe. On the other hand, 
Dirac thought that these things are always true, not just by chance. If Dirac hypothesis is correct, the physical constants have changed with the passage of time since the birth of the universe. This is due to the fact that the vibrational energy of the space is the only energy. The universe from the early universe to the present has become the current figure while all physical constants are changing. Law of Increasing Entropy The second law of thermodynamics is an empirical rule that everyone knows that heat flows from hot to cold and not vice versa, and this is the increase in entropy. In mathematical terms, integral delta Q slash T is called entropy. Here, delta Q is the change in the amount of heat, and T is the temperature, so if we write the above-mentioned heat transfer between the two bodies as an equation, let the higher temperature be TH and the lower one be TL. Integral delta Q slash TL integral delta Q slash TH0. This is the change in entropy. The first and second terms have the same delta Q and TH TL, so they are always positive. Entropy always increases because the amount of heat moved from the hot side to the cold side by delta Q is just that. Increase in entropy is a more general term for heat flows from high to low. The Big Bang is also an increase in entropy because the mass of high energy density diffuses and becomes low energy density. Since the amount of energy in the entire universe does not change, let the time of the Big Bang be T0 and the present 13.8 billion years later be T14. Integral delta Q slash T14 integral delta Q slash T00. In terms of entropy, it will be like this, but to put it more simply, it seems to represent that the small solidified energy diffuses and becomes rarefied. The law of increasing entropy is the law of cosmic expansion. Although it is derived from thermodynamics, the diffusion of the potential of the universe itself, thermokinetic gravitational matter, is called an entropy increase, so it is difficult to understand as a word, but he may be easier to understand by rephrasing it as a decrease in potential. Yeah. What is Brownian motion? Yellow fine particles are moving irregularly due to the collision of black medium particles. It is a phenomenon in which fine particles floating in a solvent such as a liquid move irregularly. In 1827, Robert Brown discovered microscopic particles floating in the water from pollen that had burst under the osmotic pressure of water. The cause of this phenomenon remained unknown for a long time, but in 1905 Einstein published a paper stating that it was caused by random collisions of molecules in a thermally moving medium. Can be proved experimentally. Later this was verified experimentally and it was confirmed that atoms and molecules are indeed real. This phenomenon Brownian motion is used in a fairly broad sense by him, and similar phenomena such as thermal noise in electric circuits and irregular vibrations of minute mirrors placed in rarefied gas are also explained as the category of Brownian motion by him. b. Einstein's explanation does not explain the energy that creates the random motion of molecules. I think that this energy is the expansion energy of the space that exists in the whole universe. About dark matter and dark energy Dark matter is a hypothetical material among the interstellar matter in the universe that does not have electromagnetic interaction, has no color electrification, and is optically unobservable, and is called dark matter. The indirect discovery of dark matter was pointed to by Vera Rubin's observations of the rotation speed of galaxies in his 1970s. As a result, it was found that there is about 10 times more substances than can be observed optically. This discrepancy between the galactic brightness distribution and the dynamical mass distribution is called the galactic rotation curve problem. Existence was revealed through this issue. The galaxy rotation curve problem is that the rotation angular velocity of the galaxy is the same both inside and outside. This means that galaxies are not just clusters of individual stars, but are connected together as a group. It is thought that the distortion of each space is synthesized and the distortion field of the space is created as a whole. In addition, observations using the gravitational lens effect have observed spatial distortion, gravity, that seems to be in and around the galaxy. If gravity is created from the expansion acceleration of space, 
the gravitational field changes over the death and birth of stars. Therefore, since the energy of the space is not constant, it is considered that the gravitational field is not uniform. The current idea of gravity is that gravity occurs when matter exists. Since I cannot say that the expansion speed of space is uniform, I think that the difference in this expansion speed becomes the distortion of the space and is observed as gravity. Even if there is no substance, if there is a spot in the expansion speed, it will become a distortion of space and gravity. If this is the cause, even if you search for dark matter, you will not find it. It is more rational to think that there is a substance, dark matter, floating in space without becoming a star, but many researchers assume other special particles. In any case, he understands that hydrogen and helium, which are thought to occupy most of the substances we observe, account for only about 5%. Since the movement of the galaxy and the expansion of space are not the same thing, even if the accelerating expansion of the galaxy is observed, it does not mean that the expansion of the space is accelerating. The galaxy is in a state of being constantly left behind without keeping up with the expansion of space. I believe that this left-behind state is the energy that creates the speed of light, gravity, mass, and time. It is said that the initial expansion is not continuing, but there is energy that is expanding the space at an even faster rate, but there is no way to explain this. I think dark energy is the fundamental energy that keeps the universe expanding. In other words, we believe that the diffusion of light that occurs uniformly in all directions indicates the function of dark energy. Structure of the Milky Way Galaxy the Milky Way galaxy, where our Earth is located, is also a collection of celestial objects such as numerous fixed stars and interstellar gas, and the total mass is estimated to be 1.26 trillion times that of the Sun. Among them, the total mass that emits electromagnetic waves such as visible light is 5%, and the majority of the mass is thought to be dark matter. 95% of what is responsible for the mass is invisible. I think that the appearance of the universe that we see will be quite different from the actual situation. Near the center of the Milky Way galaxy is a dense bulge of relatively old stars, surrounded by a disk about 100,000 light-years in diameter of young stars and interstellar medium. The thickness of the disk is about 15,000 light-years at the center and about 1,000 light-years at the edge, and it has a convex lens shape. The disk contains spiral arms where many bright stars, open star clusters, and diffuse nebulae can be seen. Beyond the bulge and disk is a spherical halo with a diameter of about 150,000 light-years, consisting of about 130 globular clusters. The center of the Milky Way is located about 26,000 light-years away in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius as seen from Earth. A massive black hole is believed to exist at the center of this galaxy. Cosmology time is force, four-dimensional dynamics cosmology. 2. The cosmic model proposed by this cosmology. What is accelerated motion? If you drop an iron ball from the leaning tower of Pisa, it will fall as it accelerates. If you throw an iron ball horizontally, it will fall several meters ahead. The more force you throw, the farther it will reach. If you throw it with an initial velocity of about 7.9 km per second, it will circle the Earth and come back. If there is no air resistance, it will be an artificial satellite that continues to revolve around the Earth. These he all are accelerated movements. When does uniform linear motion occur? Can a skater on ice perform uniform linear motion? Actually, ice also exists on the curved surface of the Earth's surface. Therefore, it is nothing but the movement around the Earth same as an artificial satellite. Orbital motion around the Sun is accelerated motion in the solar orbit. Even if it is anywhere in the solar system, uniform linear motion is not realized because it is a motion on the solar orbit. Then, is uniform linear motion possible at the midpoint between the solar system and the next star system? Since the solar system is also a member of a star cluster, it is under the influence of the gravitational sphere of the star cluster. Therefore, it becomes an accelerated motion here as well. In this way, 
the stars of the galaxy are in accelerated motion within the gravitational field of the galaxy. Similarly, even if you move outside the galaxy, you cannot escape from the gravitational field of the galaxy cluster. In other words, uniform linear motion exists as a concept. All substances and fields in this world are in accelerated motion. Accelerating motion means receiving an external force. This external force is the expansion of space, and the spotty expansion occurring around the substance is the curvature of the space. Because the space itself is curved, the light travels in a straight line. The acceleration of the expanding space is observed as gravity. It is thought that the expansion of space is expanding through the atomic lattice of the substance. However, since the expansion speed differs depending on the material density, the expansion of the space is accelerated. It is thought that this acceleration is observed as gravity. The speed of light is slower in matter than in vacuum. The phenomenon of refraction occurs because the speed of light varies depending on the medium. The absolute refractive index of a material is defined as the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in that material. For example, the refractive index of water is about 1.33 in the visible light region, and the speed of light in vacuum is about 300,000 km per second, so the speed of light in water is about 226,000 km per second. It is difficult to understand that the speed of light in water, approximately 226,000 km per second, immediately becomes the speed of light in air, approximately 300,000 km per second because the speed change is discontinuous. Is it possible to think that this is the change in the speed of expansion occurring in the atomic level area? The gravitational forces generated by individual atoms are summed up and observed as the gravitational force of the object. You can feel that gravity is the acceleration acting on space. Here, let's calculate the amount of change in velocity when accelerating from the center of the Earth to the ground surface by g. Earth radius R equals 635-6752 mobile. From uniform acceleration motion S equals 1 half G T superscript 2. Time T equals SQRT, 2 slash G equals SQRT, 2x 635-6752 slash 9.8 equals 1138 seconds. Velocity v equals gt is equal to 9.8 times 1,138 equals 11,152 meters per second velocity change. A 0.0037% change in the expansion velocity of space produces a gravitational acceleration of 9.8 meters per square second. We model the curvature of space as the expansion of space slows down in matter. It is thought that the expansion speed is slow inside the material and becomes maximum in the vacuum space. Perhaps because the expansion speed of space does not become discontinuous, it is no wonder that there is a matching interval in the expansion speed between the two. The result will be the curve shown in the drawing. Acceleration is working to say that the expansion speed of space is continuously changing. If the acceleration is acting on the inside of the solid and the space around it, the direction of gravity created by the acceleration will be in the opposite direction to the direction of expansion. In other words, will the acceleration of expansion be observed as gravity? The concept of curvature of space was introduced by Einstein before expanding cosmology. In other words, the expansion speed of space is observed as gravity in the direction opposite to the expansion direction because the speed is changing, accelerating, inside and around the material. Therefore, the strength of the gravitational field in space is considered to be the magnitude of the expansion acceleration. The superposition of gravitational fields creates the structure of galaxies, which in turn creates the large-scale structure of the universe. Stars scattered in the universe have their own gravitational field, and he said that clusters of these stars form the gravitational field of star clusters through the superposition of their gravitational forces. In this way, Clusters of stars grow into collective galaxies and form the galactic gravitational field. They also form clusters of galaxies, creating even more large-scale structures. Glue the pebbles randomly on the thin rubber film. 
The pebbles independently create distortion in the rubber membrane, but these distortions collectively create distortion in the entire rubber membrane. In other words, individual gravitational fields are elements that form the entire gravitational field. The large-scale structure of the mesh structure is different from the galaxy of the spiral structure, but I think this is due to the different gravitational density of the field. The rotation of the galaxy is individual due to the kinetic energy at the time of galaxy formation, but the gravitational field of the galaxy is united as a whole and holds the structure of the galaxy. When galaxies collide and form new galaxies, the kinetic energy of the individual galaxies combine to form new spirals. Various shapes of galaxies are currently observed, but these are growth processes of galaxies and are not considered to have the final shape of galaxies. Although the gravitational density of the field is high density in the galaxy, it is thought that the gravitational density is very small in the outer space of the large-scale structure. For this reason, it has a network-like distributed structure instead of a spiral structure concentrated at one point. This constitutes an unbiased galaxy density as a whole universe and does not become a gravity distribution such that the infinite universe accumulates at one point. It is thought that the large-scale structure is a quiet space that cannot consider the dynamics of the universe. From Newton's kinetic energy and Einstein's energy. Newton set the kinetic energy as k equals 1 half mv superscript 2. Newton's total energy. E equals u plus ku is potential energy. Einstein defined energy as E equals mc superscript 2. The two E formulas are very similar, but since C is a constant, light speed, the energy is the substance mass. He also said that in Newton's energy equation, the value of k is so small that it can be ignored in real life, so E equals u equals m, that is, mass is potential energy. I think that the potential energy that this mass has is the potential that it has for the origin of the universe, that is, the state before the Big Bang. In other words, the material mass is the total amount of energy that distorts the space, and the flow of energy occurs in the direction in which the distortion of the space is eliminated. If the space is undistorted and flat, he has no energy potential, so there is no increase in entropy. About the mass of matter This drawing is a schematic representation of the distortion in space when the Earth is in space. He puts a model of the Earth on top of a rubber membrane. This distortion is the inertial mass. Moving an object means moving the distortion of space. And the inclination of the surface made by the distortion of space is gravity. Since the distortion of this space spreads at the expansion speed, speed of light, there is a question whether speed exceeding the speed of light can exist. If you continue to accelerate near the speed of light, a wall of distortion will stand in the direction of acceleration. It may be like the sound barrier when a jet exceeds the speed of sound. I think that energy is the potential that the universe has for its container. Is the substance finally diluted and changed to the expansion of the space, and only the expansion of the space remains? Einstein's E equals mc squared. E, energy. m, mass, weight. C, speed of light. Time is force E equals mi superscript 2. E, energy. m, mass, total amount of spatial distortion. I, expansion diffusion rate of space. Comparing these two, there is a difference in the concept of mass. In the cosmology time is force, the material mass is the total distortion of the space, so he energy is the amount saved as the distortion of the space. I think that you can understand why matter mass is equivalent to energy with this. Energy is the distortion of space energy flow occurs in the direction where the distortion is eliminated. Universe Stage Equipment Law of Inertia There seems to be a simple yet mighty power set in the universe that controls all of her. If chaos were to permeate the universe, he would not be able to define the ever-changing cosmic structure that it would create. This stage setting is the property, law of inertia, that he remains as he is. The largest manifestation of this law is the expansion of space. It stipulates the most unbiased change of expansion, 
which neither bends nor stretches. In order not to change, we need the work of force to maintain it constantly. So the immutable state is not a state of energy release, but a state of being under specific control. In other words, the law of inertia is that all phenomena change. This law of inertia is that he has no conscious power and he is in a state of surrender to change as it is. Both electromagnetic properties and nuclear physical properties are governed by the law of inertia. Considering the law of inertia that creates expansion and regulates its movement, the beginning of the universe itself is considered to be the result of some inertia working. In other words, the cosmic equation is a mathematical representation of the internal events of the Big Bang phenomenon from the internal principles, but this is an equation that he always fails somewhere. Because it doesn't consider the outside of this universe. It is not possible to formulate the properties that work on all phenomena in a specific system. The law of inertia does not depend on formulas he does not have any conditions. And I think it can be applied to any event. The law of inertia can be applied to physical phenomena in the natural world, to life phenomena in living things, and to human mental phenomena. And I think that it can be said that it is the only principle that can be assumed as the principle of the container of the universe. Motion State and Gravitational Field The figure on the left is a schematic representation of the gravitational field of a stationary spacecraft. A spacecraft with no relative velocity to space is in a state of gravitational balance. In other words, as shown in this figure, the front, back, left, right, top and bottom springs support the spacecraft with the same force. The figure on the right is a schematic representation of the gravitational field of an accelerating spacecraft. It is in a state of accelerating motion, A, with respect to space. In this state, the gravitational balance around the spaceship collapses, and I think that it receives the force, F, that pulls it back. Einstein thought that the mass of the accelerating rocket would increase. I thought that the distortion of space was eccentric in the direction of acceleration, and that he received a pulling force as a result. If there is a gravitational wave, it is possible that the distortion of the space compressed in the direction of acceleration is a wave. If this is detected as a wave, is gravity oscillating in a state like a binary system of black holes rotating at super high speed? Also, he says that the speed at which this wave propagates is the expansion speed of space. Since mass is the amount stored as distortion of space, the idea of mass equals energy can also be understood without difficulty. I feel that matter beyond this gravitational shock wave will be in the same situation as a black hole. If the distortion of the space increases instead of increasing the mass and exceeds the limit, will the continuity of the space be cut off and he will go to the other side? The gravity distribution in the state of inertial motion can be represented by concentric circles, but he believes that the inertial force with respect to the space of these concentric circles is the mass of the substance. We can say that mass is the inertial force of space. In addition, the attraction between substances is considered to be born from the nature of the space where the gravitational circles made by two substances try to merge into one. Attractive force between two bodies. Attractive force between two objects can be considered as an interaction between two substances with gravity distribution as shown in the left figure. I think that the two gravitational fields caused by the acceleration of the space have the property of the space trying to become a simple one gravitational field. This phenomenon can be likened to the movement of two mercury balls attracting and merging into one. This is known as the gravitational effect of his Casimir effect. A gigantic vortex field the size of a galaxy is an unknown gravitational field. As shown in this figure, when a cone is cut diagonally, the cross-section becomes an eccentric ellipse. Considering this cut surface as a gravity plane, it is clearly an asymmetric ellipse, and if this shape is a gravity distribution, it will be an unstable gravitational field. This gravitational field cannot be released, and you will feel that the space itself is falling. Also, since energy and material mass are equivalent and material mass and gravity are the same, the kinetic energy of space will be gravity. It became an image of space that did not exist in our concept of space falling in a specific direction. 
stars and galaxies have horizontally cut cross-sections in each coordinate system, but he said that each system does not necessarily have the same inclination as his higher system, so each coordinate system falls in a unique direction. I will continue. In other words, as a result of being attracted by the gravity of the star, the gravitational field itself has a vector, not the image that the gravitational field moves. The result is an image of a dynamically flowing space. It is not an empty vacuum, but a tenuous but dominant structure of the universe. The expansion of the vacuum acts as a medium for transporting photons. And this vacuum expansion velocity speckles are acceleration and gravity. This situation is a curved space as shown in the left figure, but he cannot observe the whole image of this curved space by the observer in this space. Light travels along the shortest route on this curved surface. Distortion of space with some kind of viscosity causes the inertial mass of matter. In addition, the viscosity of the vacuum creates changes at the atomic level of all substances, and this change in this field is time. The successful observation of gravitational waves has a great significance as a physical phenomenon of the vacuum space as a dynamic existence. Photons riding on expansion waves. Things with the smallest size, one dimension, like photons go in one direction on the wave of expansion, but there is no concept of one direction because the substance with a size has a three-dimensional space inside the substance. Therefore, a substance with a size is you can't ride the wave of spatial expansion. I thought that it was not strictly a one-dimensional particle but small enough to ride an expansion wave. Also, since stars and galaxies are mutually connected by gravity, it is thought that they acquire gravity, mass and time by the expansion energy of space rather than moving by expansion of space. The speed of light equals the expansion speed of space equals the operating speed of time in other words, the three velocities are actually the same. Photons emitted from a light source are easy to imagine, but infrared rays emitted from our body temperature are also photons. If you don't emit infrared rays, your body temperature will rise and you will die. There is no real feeling that something was lost due to the radiation of infrared rays. If so, the photon will be surplus energy rather than coming out of a part of the body. Understanding the situation of photons transported by expansion. Assuming that the centers of the two circles are 300,000 kilometers apart, it takes one second at the speed of light between the two points. The figure on the right is a 30-fold magnified image. Although the distance between the two points is 300,000 kilometers, he seems to overlap the two points. Similarly, the circles overlap in the way the wave of expansion propagates. It is difficult for him to imagine the path of light expanding in all directions in his everyday sense of distance, but he can understand that it is the same spatial expansion on a macro scale. In other words, if you look at the light of Tokyo and the light of Osaka from an artificial satellite, the light collides, so you can't see it as expansion, but if you look at it from Mars, you can recognize it as light expanding and diffusing from one point. If you fire a photon into an irregular polygonal mirror room, the mirror room will be filled with photon wakes. When the light is reflected by the mirror, it continues to expand by changing the expansion wave of the space, this is also the expansion of the space, volumetric expansion. When you say expansion, you may imagine a state in which light travels straight forever, linear expansion, but expansion in an expansion space can be likened to a box of mirrors. Thomas Young's double-slit experiment can be considered in the same way. Interference fringes of light. He creates a path that joins again after parting once, and when he passes waves with the same phase there, interference fringes are generated. Thomas Young. Gu used this property of waves and he showed that light is a wave in an interference experiment using two slits. What this experiment means is that even a quantum of unit quantity shows properties as a wave. The double slit experiment was the first in the world to prove that even a unit quantity of quantum can exhibit wave properties, as he does not require multiple particles to exhibit wave properties. It is an unsolved problem that light has both particle and wave properties. Considering that the photon is carried by the expansion wave of the space, 
there is no contradiction in having two properties. Also, there is no contradiction because it is the same phenomenon that other elementary particles can fly around the space at the speed of light. Since the expansion of space is the speed of light and time, he has a constant speed of light in each field. The observed value at the quantum level is the position and energy of the quantum when the space-time wave motion is stopped, so the quantum is observed as a point. On the other hand, the state in which the quantum exists in space-time is a state with a temporal activity width. This is why observations that can be seen as waves coexist with observations that can be seen as particles. In the space of elementary particles, it is thought that an incomprehensible observation situation is created because the size of the observed event cannot be determined with the accuracy of the time ruler. It is observed as a particle in the observation result where time is stopped, and as a wave in the time width that shows the nature of the quantum level. Space Expansion Acceleration Flow speed can be determined by measuring the speed of leaves floating in the flow. To measure the expansion speed of space, it can be estimated by measuring the particles carried by the expansion wave. And I think that this speed is observed as the maximum speed in space. These leaves floating on the surface of the water are photons in outer space. I think you can understand well in this model that the speed of light is constant. We were in contact with the expansion of space on a daily basis as the nature and speed of light, but we did not notice that this was the expansion of outer space. The kinetic energy of clear water cannot be visually observed. But you can understand that most of the energy in flowing water is the kinetic energy of the water. It is thought that the expansion of space is expanding through the atomic lattice of the substance. However, since the expansion speed differs depending on the material density, the expansion of the space is accelerated. It is thought that this acceleration is observed as gravity. The galaxy's rotation and spirals form a gigantic gravitational field. The space simply wants to expand, but the expansion field of the space is disturbed by the influence of the substances and energy that exist in the spots in the space, and as a result of the vortex and acceleration in the space, the gravity around the substance and the inertial mass against the space become. It is considered that Atomic structure in motion floating in space an atom has a radius of about one billionth of a centimeter, approximately 1 times 10 to the power of negative 8 cm, and at its center is a nucleus that is 100,000th of the diameter of an atom, approximately 1 times 10 to the power of negative 13 cm. Electrons rotate, just like the planets around the Sun. For example, if the nucleus of the smallest hydrogen atom has a radius of 1 centimeter, the electrons rotate with a radius of several tens of kilometers. A structure in which electrons revolve around the nucleus requires the orbital velocity of electrons in Newtonian mechanics. Different velocities have different trajectory radii. In the first place, it seems that it is not confirmed that it is moving in a linear orbit around the nucleus. Also, it is not something that can be visually confirmed. The orbit is maintained because the protons have a positive charge and the electrons have a negative charge, so the gravitational force and the combined force attract each other. However, considering that it is determined by the charge and rotation speed of the electron, the electron has a very precise rotation speed. I don't know how I got this speed. Also, I think it is unreasonable to think that he could maintain the atomic structure with such methodicalness. In my way of thinking about space expansion, the reason why the electron does not fall into the nucleus is that the expansion force of the space is the repulsive force between them. In other words, the problem is easier if you think that electrons are drifting in a space where repulsive force, electromagnetic force and gravity are balanced. Electrons are subject to space expansion pressure and it is thought that there is a repulsive force with a property such that the repulsive force increases when the electron gets too close to the nucleus, and the repulsive force decreases when the electron moves away. In order to have such properties, you must think that the expansion of space is occurring around the nucleus. It becomes an image of expanding the space so that the expansion energy just melts from the atomic nucleus. 
There is a limit to the number of electrons that can exist in the same orbital sphere because the repulsive force due to the charge works between electrons. As a result, when the atomic weight increases, it is thought that multiple layers with different electron orbital heights are formed and many electrons follow. Considering this way, if the expansion pressure of the space is large, heavier elements can be formed. And when the expansion pressure is small, only simple atomic structures can be formed. It can be inferred that electrons and protons have an electric charge due to the expansion frictional force of space. Photons gained light speed from space and matter gained gravity from space. And electrons and protons acquire electric charges from space and make the current cosmic principle. If the expansive force becomes weaker, the frictional force becomes weaker and the electric charge also becomes smaller, so the expansive force and the electromagnetic contraction force are automatically balanced. Nuclear force is a general term for the force that acts between protons and neutrons, and has the function of strongly binding nucleons to a small region of about 10 to 13 centimeters as an atomic nucleus. This nuclear force can also be explained from the concept of the mass field of space. Protons and neutrons in the atomic nucleus are thought to have a large indivisible mass relative to the space because they share the expansion field, mass field, of space. Cause of matter formation I have described the speed of light, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time, but these could be explained as forces due to the interaction of space and energy. However, if the electromagnetic force is generated from the expansion friction force of the space, it is necessary to consider atoms without electric charges. This means that an atom without a charge has an atomic structure without an electron. Photons moving in the same motion as the expansion of space do not have an electric charge, but there are quanta that cannot ride the expansion of space, and it is thought that they acquire electric charges in order to receive friction from the expansion space and create an atomic structure. Increase Speed of light gravity mass electromagnetic force nuclear force time what is matter in material space. This is a space in which dynamics are lost. It seems necessary to consider nucleon without electric charge, but it is difficult to think that nucleon with size based on our concept exists. He cannot assume the size and weight of the photon itself, but it is expected that there is a quantum that does not have the same size or weight but has the property of trying to stay in the absolute coordinate system space. High dimensional space? Multidimensional space? I think we can recognize from the zero dimension to the first, second, and third dimensions. The zero dimension is the starting point for thinking about dimensions, but since he is zero, it doesn't exist and he can't even imagine it. In mathematics and physics, dimensions are, zero dimension has no size, it can only exist as our concept. One dimensional line has no thickness, this can only exist as our concept. Two dimensional surface has no thickness, this can only exist as our concept. Three dimensional is a solid without time, it can only exist as our concept. Four dimension is space-time. Three dimensions plus time is said to be fourth dimension space-time. It is a dimension that we can recognize by having a time axis. Five dimension is three dimensions plus time plus. So it's a space that can't even be imagined. Mathematically, we can consider high-dimensional space, but one, two, three, five dimensions cannot show the actual situation. That's because we are in a four-dimensional space-time, and we can't show the reality of another dimension in this. Also, whether or not a high-dimensional space exists in the universe itself is doubtful. The outer space that we can see is a four-dimensional space-time, and we have not been able to find or imagine any more coordinate axes. We are in an expanding three-dimensional world, fourth dimension, but the body and the surrounding material world do not expand with the expansion of space. This is a kind of resistance against space expansion. Or it is a division left behind from the expansion of space. The difference in this expansion energy is the gravity that distorts the space, the mass, and the time. The term dimension is used in many different ways. For example, when discussing the human world, he sometimes uses it in a way that raises the dimension, 
but this is used in a completely different sense. In physics, the dimension is n, which is y equals xn. Although n can be written from 1 to infinity, it does not mean that such a space exists. Also, you may see a high-dimensional model image expressed by computer graphics, but if it is an image displayed on a display, it is a two-dimensional image. Also, if it is a three-dimensional model that has been sculpted, it is called three-dimensional. Also, if it is a solid that continues to expand like a balloon, it is a four-dimensional model. Unfortunately, we cannot imagine a space with more than four dimensions. The high-dimensional space in movies and science fiction movies is just an imagination. The world of absolute zero. Superconductivity phenomenon near absolute zero, this is well known for a long time because the electrical resistance of metal becomes zero. Bose-Einstein condensation, this is a phenomenon in which a group of atoms near absolute zero behave as if they were one giant atom. A world of absolute zero where light cannot travel, after cooling the gas of sodium atoms to nearly minus 273 degrees Celsius, he measured the speed of the laser light and found that it slowed down to about 17 meters per second per second. In my cosmology, the world of absolute zero degrees is the world where the space does not expand. In a space that does not expand, the speed of light cannot exist, gravity cannot exist, and there is no internal pressure to support the atomic space. I also believe that the flow of time does not exist. Current model of the universe. The graph of A greater than zero has become influential due to the accelerated expansion of outer space which won the Nobel Prize in 2011. The model assumed by this graph is a model in which the universe is diffused and becomes rarefied, and the expansion eventually turns into contraction and the universe collapses. Both models contain singularities. Also, he thinks that the Big Bang started from the singularity in any model, so he cannot answer the question of what happens. It is said to be the Big Bang singularity problem, but it cannot explain the universe that started from nothing. Also, he cannot answer the question of what will happen to the model that will become tenuous forever and the model of the universe that will collapse and disappear. There is growing interest in the emergence of a universal model of the universe. Theory of everything. He had summarized the light velocity gravitational mass time by 2018, but he could not explain the cause of the electromagnetic force and nuclear force. In February 2019, I noticed that triboelectricity was born from the expansion of space and gave electric charges to electrons and protons. Similarly, I think that the nuclear force can be explained as a gravitational phenomenon in a microscopic space. Originally, it is thought that he saw four forces as one way of working. Unified field theory is a theory that unifies various interaction forces into one type in field theory. The goal is to unify all four forces in the natural world, the theory that unifies all these forces is called the theory of everything. The theory of everything is an attempt to create a theory that describes four forces that exist in the natural world, electromagnetic force, weak force, strong force, and gravity. This is called the theory of everything or grand unified field theory. And instead of unifying the four forces, he considers the causes of these forces, ultimately resulting in the expansive force of space. Considering the actual condition of this expansion of space, he speculates that it is caused not by the beginning of the universe by the Big Bang, but by the fluctuation of the Vagu field surrounding our universe. Cosmology time is force, four-dimensional dynamics cosmology. 3. Quiet Big Bang theory with no singularity. Introduction of Vague field. Material space awakening from void. In the Big Bang theory of the fireball universe, he breaks down all logic at that moment. It is impossible to theorize that something comes out of nothing. Nor can he explain the accelerating expansion of space, which won him a Nobel Prize in 2011. Therefore, we will name the container area of the universe the vague field and proceed with the story. The video is a behavior experiment of polka dots in zero gravity space. The polka dots sway three-dimensionally. If this polka dot is the entire image of the universe, our universe exists in an expanding area. 
However, he believes that the expanding area of this polkada was previously a contracting area and that the laws of physics were completely different. And the moment when this contraction changes direction to expansion is considered a quiet big bang without a singularity. Since the area that replaces this contraction and expansion gradually increases, the material space also expands while increasing. In other words, the area with zero behavior acquires expansion energy and becomes a universe that expands while being reorganized into an expanding universe. Here, for the first time, he was able to document the structural principle of the Big Bang. The world of the expansion principle begins in the area that expands in the movement that rises and falls like a polka dot floating in space, and this world is maintained by the mechanism of light speed, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. When going from expansion to contraction there is a zero state in between. In the zero state, the principle of light velocity gravity mass electromagnetic force nuclear force time disappears. I think the universe will be pitch black at this point. In this way, I think that the light speed, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time will start to work in the opposite direction, turning into a contracting universe. What are the characteristics of the quiet Big Bang theory that has no singularity in contrast to the cosmology that has been constructed so far? 1. There is no need to think that matter was condensed to one point at the start of the Big Bang. 2. There is no need to think that the expanding universe was started by an explosion. 3. There is no need to question the observation result that the expansion is accelerating. 4. A four-dimensional dynamic space where expansion and contraction coexist and has no singularity in the physical principle. 5. Our universe is one of many that occurred in a portion of four-dimensional space. This will admit a new concept of ether, but the existence of ether is not in our space-time, but it becomes the basic thing that constitutes the container of the universe. 13.8 billion years ago, it is believed that our space-time was born in this expanding area of the ether-filled universe. I think that these three spaces are seamlessly connected and the conditions of the spaces are also changing seamlessly. Our cosmic principle works in the expanding space, but in the contracting space the light comes from the sky towards the observer. Therefore, the universe is a pure white space, and the sun and stars are shining black. Gravity acts as a repulsive force between substances and keeps stars apart even in contracting space. Since mass and time do not have a direction, it is thought that they work in the same way. Beginning of contraction accelerated contraction maximum velocity of contraction deceleration contraction end of contraction. Vague fields movement transforms the principle of space. Start of expansion accelerating expansion maximum speed of expansion deceleration expansion end of expansion. If the behavior of big field is a sine wave, the reason why the accelerating expansion is observed is that this expanding universe is still young. His discovery of accelerated expansion was his 2011 Nobel Prize in physics. With this, the cause of light speed, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, time and the last difficult problem of space expansion could be explained in a unified manner. Our universe exists in a part of the vague field, but I think that the physical principle is not unique to our universe, but there is a principle common to the entire universe, law of inertia. What is expansion of space? When part of the metal ball is heated with a gas burner, the metal ball expands. This amount of expansion is very small, so it may not be visible to the naked eye, but if you measure it precisely, it is thermal expansion. This thermal expansion is not due to an increase in the number of atoms. I think that this is because the distance between protons and electrons has increased or the distance between atoms has expanded and expanded. However, if the spacing between atoms expands, this means that the vacuum space has expanded, that is, the expansion of space. I thought that the expansion of outer space by the Big Bang was due to the initial explosive expansion force. The discovery of the accelerating expansion of space must change his image of this Big Bang. In other words, he cannot explain the accelerating expansion of space from the principles inherent in the Big Bang universe. Also, 
he thinks that the Big Bang cosmology is generally explained by him that energy phase transitioned into matter, but there is no evidence of phase transition. If there is an accelerating space expansion, this time the opposite phase transition is occurring. In other words, is the matter of the whole universe undergoing a phase transition to the expansion energy of space? There would be no such convenient phase transition. I think that the accelerated expansion of the universe is the movement of vague field itself, which constitutes the macrocosm. In other words, our universe is only a small part of the macrocosm, so no matter what kind of movement the macrocosm has, we cannot know the movement of the vague field that is far beyond the observable range. And for him, this big field is a four-dimensional dynamics space. Here, the expansion area and the contraction area coexist, so there is no increase or decrease in the total volume. Since there is nothing other than an infinite size big field, there is no concept of increase or decrease. On redshifts of distant galaxies. Generally speaking, the redshift of light is said to be that the receding speed of a distant galaxy is increased by adding the expansion speed, and that amount is observed as an extension of the wavelength. It is said that the receding speed of the galaxy exceeds the speed of light and disappears from view. Considering this relatively, it can be considered that the space around us observers is accelerating expansion. Therefore, the redshift of distant galaxies proves the accelerating expansion of space. In other words, since the expansion speed and the speed of light are the same, it can be considered that the expansion speed was slow in the initial state of the expanding universe. When the expansion of the universe becomes faster, the wavelength of light will be extended, maintenance of the speed of light. This means that the wavelength of light in the old age is stretched as the expansion speed of space increases. If we consider the space expansion to be vague fields fluctuation, we can assume an accelerated expansion period and a decelerated expansion period for the expansion of the space. Contrary to this figure, it can be inferred that distant galaxies are observed as blue-shifted light during the slowing expansion period. So even if the universe is not exploding from one point, the light of distant galaxies is redshifted. In the first place, it is thought that there was a philosophical error in setting the initial universe size to one point when constructing the expanding cosmology theory. It may be frustrating for those who want to support the theological creation theory, but if God is brought up, scientific cosmology is over. Observation Data of Accelerated Expansion This figure shows the accelerated expansion of the universe announced in 1999 from the observation results of distant supernovae. The horizontal axis indicates redshift, regression velocity, and the vertical axis indicates luminous distance. The dots in the figure are observed type IA supernovae. If the expansion rate of the universe is constant, the slope will be constant, but in reality the points are distributed slightly above, accelerating expansion side. Although it is a rather subtle observation result, it is considered that accelerated expansion exists because he is recognized by the Nobel Prize. The redshift of the galaxy observed by Hubble was also a delicate picture, but established the expansion cosmology theory. Matter generation. In the expanding universe, the space expands and expands while the energy condenses and forms substances, similar to condensation, as the space becomes rarefied. However, he eventually uses the expansion energy and transforms into a contracting universe like a pendulum coming back. In a shrinking universe, matter melts into space as it is absorbed by the ever-increasing spatial density. It is similar to how ice fragments dissolve in water. Matter and energy are equivalent, and for him the changing energy state is the drama of the universe. It is said that the temperature and pressure of a supernova explosion cannot produce gold. The reason why gold is difficult to make is that it is difficult to make itself because it is a heavy and stable substance. Since the expansion speed of the universe is accelerating, the gravitational strength of matter is also changing. Therefore, it can be inferred that the temperature of the supernova explosion will be higher than the value currently assumed. In the four-dimensional dynamics space, both gravity and electric charges are thought to change, so it seems likely that the mechanism by which gold is generated is also around here. 
simultaneously awakening, expanding universe model. The cosmology time is Force's original cosmological diagram was his Big Bang model that material space expands, but he no longer needs to think that matter expands due to the introduction of big field. Suppose we have an inflated balloon here. In the morning the balloon is deflated by the cold air, but in the afternoon it expands due to the rise in temperature. In other words, when the expansion and contraction are repeated due to changes in temperature and the expansion starts, the expanding universe begins. Since the expanding universe awakens at the same time, there is no center of expansion, and the expanding universe principle is activated from the mechanism of light speed, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. Since he was 13.8 billion years old when the space-time awakened, the farthest light can be observed at the position of 13.8 billion light-years. Although it is thought that the initial expansion speed was slow, it is thought that it will be observed gradually accelerating to the current speed of light. For this reason, it is thought that the wavelength of distant light is observed to be elongated. Even if humans had the technology to move within a range of one light year, the size of the universe is 13.8 billion times that of humans, so in reality they cannot move in the universe at all. This is the same for light, and even if we say the speed of light, he says that it is quite slow at the cosmic level. Vague field in the background, there's movement here that's commensurate with its size, but too small for our scale, he can perceive this movement as the speed of light. Since the scale differs by dozens of orders, it can be considered just like the difference between our world and the world of elementary particles. Considering that material energy exploded and diffused according to the conventional Big Bang theory, it is thought that galaxies exist at high density in the early universe. On the other hand, if matter is not expanded and diffused from one point, but awakened by expansion energy from four-dimensional space, it is thought that there is no bias in the distribution density of galaxies. If we can observe that the density of galaxies in each era is the same in the future, a quiet Big Bang theory without singularities will be verified. Smooth Principle Transition This world did not start from the Big Bang, but was a transition of quiet principles. In the first place, in four-dimensional space, the space cannot be stabilized unless contraction and expansion coexist think this is inevitable in the four-dimensional world. Principles of Expanding and Contracting Universes Item Light Gravity Massachusetts Sun Galactic Structure Night Sky Entropy Dimension Expanding Universe Diffusion Attraction Between Substances Inertial mass. Fusion. Equilibrium between expansion and gravity. Black. Increase. Four dimensional space. Shrinking universe. Accumulate. Repulsion between substances. Inertial mass. Nuclear fission. Equilibrium between contraction and repulsion. White. Decrease. Four dimensional space. The space principle that the expanding universe diverges and the contracting universe condenses is full of contradictions. Also, the Big Bang theory that started from one point cannot answer the question of what exploded and how. A four dimensional space, big field, is a space in which expansion and contraction regions are maintained in balance. The universe that started in a part of the expansion area in this is our expanding universe and the speed of light, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time are physical principles produced by the behavior of four-dimensional space. Here, I feel that the absolute quantity invariant principle of the macrocosm exists. Vague field expansion began at the same time 13.8 billion years ago. As a result, the position 13.8 billion light-years away can be observed as the light of the farthest universe. The arrangement of galaxies is considered to be a simple expansion in the global coordinate system, although there are some that are moving away and some that are approaching in the nearby cluster of galaxies, and each has its own vector. Also, 
The size of this expanding area is believed to be much larger than 13.8 billion light years. Although the speed of light in a vacuum is the expansion speed, it is thought that it is not possible to measure the change in expansion speed because time is the same as the expansion of space. Also, I think that the expansion rate of the universe can be defined as follows. Cosmic expansion rate equals V2 V1 forward slash T2 T1 slash V1. V1, original size of the universe. V2, observed size of the universe. T1, absolute zero. T2, temperature of the universe. If the original universe size is a point, the expansion rate of the universe becomes infinite and does not match the observed fact. So Big Bang theory starting from one point is impossible. This formula is expansion due to temperature, but I think that space has oscillation due to space motion and inertial energy. Considering that the fluctuation of the vag field is a sine wave, the expansion will eventually slow down, but I don't think it can be confirmed on the human timescale. What is vag field? At the end of the expansion, the expansion pressure will be zero, but the gravity and time will be zero, so the electrons will not fall into the nucleus. They are, so to speak, frozen atoms. And he believes that these frozen atoms are so inert that they remain unchanged in space for billions of years. In my cosmology, the space that does not expand is the world of absolute zero degrees. In a space that does not expand, we believe that there is no light speed, no gravity, no internal pressure that supports the space of atoms, and no flow of time. After that, the activity of the atom restarts under the expansion pressure or contraction pressure. This state is the beginning of a new universe. In this way, he felt that there was no significant change in the arrangement of matter in the vague field, and that the matter did not clump together due to gravity, and remained evenly distributed. Increase. Since big field transcends the space that we can observe in both spatial scale and time scale, it can be understood as an image when considering that he contains 13.8 billion years of spacetime in a small movement. Big field stabilizer. In big field, if the expansion of space is fast, gravity works strongly, and if it is slow, it thinks that it works weakly. The faster the expansion, the stronger the gravity and the stronger the force that holds the universe together. If the expansion of the space is slow, the gravity will be weak and there will be no worry that the galaxy will harden due to gravity. Similarly, if the space shrinks quickly, the repulsive force becomes stronger, and if the shrinkage is slow, the repulsive force becomes weaker, so it is thought that there is no need to worry about the matter diffusing due to the repulsive force. In the expanding universe, matter accumulates due to gravity, and the giant stars produce heavy atoms by supernova. On the other hand, in the contracting universe, the material is decomposed by repulsive force and becomes light atoms. Matter is thought to oscillate in the universe, which repeats expansion and contraction. The sense of scale of vague field. Spacetime begins when vague field turns to expansion. Since the expansion of the expansion area and the expansion speed are not the same, the observable outer space of 13.8 billion light years is as shown in the figure. This allows the observer to observe the same 13.8 billion light year space regardless of where they are in the expansion area. There will be an infinite number of slightly different universes. I think our universe is like an ant on the back of an elephant. To the ants, it looks like a flat, uniform field. In addition, our 13.8 billion years of time are condensed in the momentary movement of his vague field. We think the speed of light is very fast, but on the giant vague field scale, he doesn't feel fast because his wobbly motion is the speed of light. It is easy to see that speed and sense of time are relative. Elephants seem slow and her rats feel fast, but if you measure it, it won't make much of a difference. In addition, the heart rate of small animals is fast, and that of large animals is slow. There will be time scales in vague field. One year at vague field 1, y. In the whole universe, 1 times 10 to the power of 20, y. Our lifetime 1 times 10 to the power of 35, y. 
in the atomic world 1 times 10 to the power of 50, why? In the Planck world 1 times 10 to the power of 70, why? One year in vague field is 1 times 10 to the power of 35, why, in our living time? Vague field's visible region. Observation site Earth, Earth, and G1, Galaxy 1, G2, Galaxy 2, and U138, observation limit of 13.8 billion light years. The colored part is the area of light that can be observed. And even more distant galaxies 20 billion light years away are galaxies that awakened 13.8 billion years ago. At present, there is no light that reaches the observation site Earth, which is 20 billion light years away. A galaxy 13 billion light years away is now 26 billion light years away. The galaxies that we can observe are in chronological order and cannot be observed because the light does not reach them. I think that the same galaxy will be observable at a position 14 billion light years away in 1 billion years. There is a huge vague field outside the visible region. The expansion space of 13.8 billion light years will increase but he is considered to be only a partial thermal expansion of a steel ball from the size of vague field. This means that the spatial expansion of a small system is part of the spatial expansion of a larger system, which ultimately boils down to the big field expansion. Although it is difficult to understand, the expansion of light is considered to be similar to the situation where heat is transmitted to the surroundings. Vague field oscillating universe model there is an expanding universe in the expanding area of the swaying polka, the left figure, and a contracting universe exists in the contracting part. There is a stationary area at the boundary between the expanding area and the contracting area. No energy or information is transmitted beyond this static area. The universe did not explode and expand from one point, but each physical principle of the area where expansion started and the area where contraction started produces light, gravity, mass, and time, creating a cosmic structure. The physical principle was born and everything were born because the state was changed by the four-dimensional dynamics, not the universe was born from nothing. This change of state is due to the oscillating energy of the infinite vague field that surrounds our universe. This is the reason why we cannot find the energy source even if we observe the universe and only the result is observed. The currently observed universe has a radius of 13.8 billion light years. This is the limit size that can be observed with light, but it does not mean that this is the size of the universe. If the universe has a size, the outer problem of the universe will arise. There are also people who assume a multiverse, but what is between the universes? Also, in elementary particle theory and superstring theory, the space between particles is not considered. Currently, empty space is called a vacuum, but can a vacuum be defined? This is an outside physics problem for now. When you say the appearance of the universe, you may think of it as the arrangement of stars in the universe, but it is said that the amount of stars is only 5% of the entire universe in terms of energy. I think it's 0.00 n percent in volume conversion. When viewed from the perspective of the universe as a whole, matter is virtually non-existent. However, we cannot deny that there is a gap called space. In elementary particle theory, it is said that space is filled with elementary particles. Energy particles are flying around in the vacuum space, but the current situation is that he doesn't know how to define this space. There is nothing but electromagnetic waves, energy, so it seems that the concept of energy space is necessary. What is space expansion? Galaxies range from dwarf galaxies with about 10 million stars to huge ones with 100 trillion stars. Most of them are filled with dark matter, which accounts for about 90% of their mass. It is estimated that there are at least 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe alone. Most are 1,000 to 100,000 parsecs in diameter, and some are huge, reaching millions of parsecs. Intergalactic space is a region of very rare gas, averaging less than one atom per cubic meter. Distance between galaxies our galaxy and the Andromeda Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, are about 100,000 light-years apart, 
and the distance between them is 2,300,000 light years. The distance between the Sun and Alpha Centauri is 30 million times the size of the Sun, while the Andromeda Galaxy is only 23 times the size of the Milky Way. The stars in the galaxy are sparsely distributed, but the galaxy as a whole is held together by gravity and moves as a single mass. Some galaxies move closer and some move farther apart. There is an expansion of space that includes the movement of stars and galaxies like this. The air around us is made up of oxygen and nitrogen atoms. A vacuum is filled between these oxygen and nitrogen atoms similarly, there is a vacuum between the nucleus and the electron inside the atomic structure. The expansion of space is that these vacuum spaces are expanding. Also, the arrangement of galaxies is not expanding, but the space itself is expanding. It is difficult to understand the expansion of space in the head as an image of real space. The expansion of 300,000 km per second is compared with our walking speed of 1 meter per second. There is a nine-digit difference from the speed of light of 300 million meters per second, so the image can't catch up. The expansion rate of gases follows Charles's law, when the pressure is constant, any gas expands by 1 273, 0.00366 of its volume at 0 degrees Celsius for every 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature. For example, if the volumetric expansion rate of space is 0.0037 K, 13.8 billion light years slash 0.0037 X space temperature, 2.7 K, equals 10 trillion light years is the actual size of the expansion space. This leads him to say that an area of 10 trillion light years began to expand, the silent Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. The above is a guess based on the gas expansion model. Vague field expansion and contraction may be thought of as a kind of field oscillation model due to the kinetic energy and inertial forces of the field rather than temperature. Since the vibration of the field and the speed of light are not the same, I think that the range where the field awakens and the range where the speed of light can propagate are different. In the case of the expansion that started from one point due to the Big Bang, I think there is no problem in thinking that it expands at the same speed in all directions, but in the case of the space expansion that started with the awakening of the four-dimensional dynamics space, it is not possible to think that the expansion speed is constant. I don't think so. The Mandelbrot set, infinite space in mathematics. The Mandelbrot set is the set of all complex numbers C that satisfy the condition that the sequence of complex numbers defined by the following asymptotic formula does not diverge to infinity in the limit of n infinity. On the complex plane, most of the area of the Mandelbrot set is occupied by a fractal figure formed by infinitely repeating the circumscribed cardioid, including the origin with countless circles, which are then circumscribed by countless small circles. Furthermore, if you expand the surroundings, you can see countless figures similar to this fractal figure. Slow divergence regions containing these figures also have fractal characteristics and constitute various figure elements such as spirals and similarities. The Mandelbrot set as a whole is proven to be connected. To rewrite the Mandelbrot set without using complex numbers, replace Zn with the point Xn, Yn, and replace C with the point A, B. And it is sufficient. To explain the sense of scale of the physical world in terms of the Mandelbrot set, when the expansion rate of our universe of 14 billion light years is 1.3245 times 10 to the power of negative 26 m, the overall image of vague field is the basic form of the Mandelbrot set. The expansion rate is 1 m. I feel like it's going to be. The shape of the Mandelbrot set has an infinite hierarchy from the basic shape. Calculate this as the magnification factor. There is no information indicating our position in any layer we also do not know what layer we are in the hierarchical structure of the whole universe. Also, the Mandelbrot figure drawn by a simple principle contains the image of the basic shape in every layer. This means that we can see the structure of the macrocosm around us, but we may not be aware of it. Overall Structure of Space Thinking that the universe exists in the sea of ether, I searched for the cause of transmitting light. In this era, 
we imagined a mysterious substance called ether. Thinking that the universe is filled with something, he tried to explain every interaction. But he finds no reaction from the ether. I think that the state replaced by quantum theory is the current physics, but there is no change in thinking that it is filled with particles. If it is a mechanism that travels like sound in the air through particles filled in space, it is called a wave. In this case, the sound source or light source needs independent energy. It is space that is expanding. The space surrounding oxygen atoms and nitrogen atoms is expanding. The space between the atoms that make up stones and metals is expanding. The space between the cells of our body is expanding, but he cannot feel this expansion. It is similar to how it is difficult to feel the presence of air in real life. The size of the universe confirmed by observation is said to be 13.8 billion light years, but he named the area that is thought to extend outside this universe as Vegfield. It is thought that there are countless universes with different time and space, but there is no exchange of information with our universe. When expressed numerically, the gigantic world and the microscopic world seem to have similar existences, but since the atomic size or smaller is smaller than the tip of a fingernail, they cannot be said to be the same spatial principle. I think the same thing can be said about the time scale. Since the sense of scale of time and space is imaged based on the human scale, we can understand from the atomic size to the observation universe size, but the world of smaller size and larger size cannot be imagined as a physical existence. In vague field space, the space may be maintained by the principle that the size of the galaxy is the minimum size. Cosmology time is force, four-dimensional dynamics cosmology. 4. The theory of everything induced by time is force, summary. This cosmology began by investigating the cause of the speed of light. In the space expanding at the speed of light, the photons separated from the light source are directly affected by the expansion, so they appear to diffuse at the speed of light from the observer's point of view. From the interaction of this space and expansion gravitational mass time arises. I think this can be understood from the perspective of relative motion in an expansion space, four-dimensional space. He can explain the expansion of space by the idea of increasing entropy, but it is difficult to understand even if he says that it is an increase in entropy. Rather, it will be easier to understand if you say that it is an expansion of space. When we look at substances, we see that they become rarefied. And in the four-dimensional space, expanding and contracting spaces coexist this is the essence of the four-dimensional space. There seems to be a principle that the total volume is constant, expansion volume plus contraction volume equals one. If you think about what is filled with vague field, it will be an elementary particle. Rather, it is easier to explain if you think of it as a place filled with energy. It is a flowing energy that is not a thing, but it is thought that the flow creates shading and creates gravity and matter. Expansion of space is different from expansion of matter arrangement. The expansion of the universe, which is currently said, is the expansion of the space that the galaxy is moving away, but this is not the expansion of the space itself because the arrangement of the galaxy is expanding. The expansion of space can be observed as a phenomenon in which electromagnetic waves diffuse at the speed of light, but since the space itself cannot be seen, there is no choice but to guess. Instead of thinking that this expansion of space will continue forever, he will eventually slow down, stop and contract. The movement of this vague field creates a four-dimensional universe without singularities. As a force that supports such a vague field property, there may be a force such as adhesion force or a force such as surface tension in water that is not gravity. Four-dimensional dynamics cosmology considers the container area of the universe. The four dimensions are the three dimensions of space and the coordinate system in which the space itself is expanding or contracting. In Newtonian mechanics and current physics, we have defined the basic physical constants of light velocity, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time, which are born from the current space conditions. It is unreasonable to think that such a constant exists in the natural world. It is thought that a simple spatial principle governed only by inertial force exists in his vague field vague world, 
which is the container of the universe. The speed of light in the cosmology time is force is a visualization of the photon riding on the expansion of the space, and the spots of the expansion speed of the substance and its surroundings are the distortion of the space and I thought this as gravity. And the total amount of distortion in the space created by matter is mass. We also consider the change in events due to the expansion of space as time. This four-dimensional space-time dynamic is the subject of his cosmology. We think that the speed of light runs very fast, but this is the expansion of the universe itself and does not exist as the speed of particles with respect to space. I feel that the speed of light exists because we observers are staying in the expanding space, not because the light is moving. The four-dimensional space-time expanding in the space surrounding this real universe is recognized by us as light speed, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. The cause of the speed of light, in a space that is expanding at the speed of light, photons separated from the light source are directly affected by the expansion. It looks like you are. Photons carried by space expansion don't need their own energy to reach the speed of light. Therefore, the photon is relatively stationary in the expanding coordinate system. Cause of gravity, the expansion of space is continuous from the inner space of matter to outer space. However, inside the substance, the expansion speed changes. This speed change is observed as gravity by the acceleration of space. Gravity is not a material-specific property but a space force that is born from the interaction of space and matter in the expanding space. Cause of mass the space that accelerates in all directions around matter is distorted in terms of velocity. This total amount of strain is the mass of the substance. In other words, when a substance moves, space tries to maintain its form by the law of inertia, this force appears as the mass of the substance. Also, the movement of the space that tries to release the total amount of strain in the space is the total amount of energy that the mass has. Cause of electromagnetic force three-dimensional particles larger than a photon are left behind from the expansion because they cannot ride the expansion. As a result, it receives friction from the expansion of space. This gives the electrons and protons in space a charge due to friction. Electromagnetic force is consumed as a resistance to external force, but the structure of the substance is maintained as a stable electromagnetic force because the electric charge is constantly charged by the expansion friction force of the space. Cause of nuclear force Since nuclear force is considered to be the electromagnetic force and gravity between particles sharing a field in microspace, it has properties that can be analyzed from the mass field theory of microspace. I think it is. The mass field theory of a microspace is the interaction between the electromagnetic force and gravity occurring in a closed space, and I expect it to be analyzed by experimental physics. Cause of time, the expansion of space and the flow of time are the same thing. We have an illusion that the change in space and energy due to expansion is the flow of time. There is no time axis in four-dimensional space this is an artificial coordinate axis that shows changes due to expansion. We creatures have an illusion that the change of events in the four-dimensional dynamic space is a constant time axis. Four-dimensional space. In the four-dimensional dynamic space, expansion and contraction coexist and maintain a balance. This only dynamic energy is observed by transforming into the speed of light, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. Therefore, the theory of everything is completed by integrating the physical formula into the four-dimensional dynamic unit system. Four-dimensional dynamics cosmology, which started from the cause of the speed of light, has reached a quiet Big Bang theory that has no singularity for 10 years and has been able to comprehensively explain the speed of light, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time from the expansion of space. Rice Field and in March 2018 he introduced vague field to explain the cause of the accelerated expansion of space. Also, in February 2019, he noticed that triboelectricity was generated from the expansion of space, giving the atoms an electric charge. Similarly, I think that the nuclear force can be explained as a gravitational phenomenon in a microscopic space.
Originally, the way one force works is thought to be theory of everything, which he saw as four forces. It has been said that if the theory of everything is perfected, it will not only be able to explain all the properties of elementary particles, but it will also become the ultimate physical theory capable of understanding how the universe, time and space, is born and disappears. However, I noticed that the nature of elementary particles cannot explain the space. Also, the birth and extinction of the universe can be explained as the beginning and end of the expanding universe or the beginning and end of the contracting universe, but it is not possible to explain the creation of the universe where existence comes from nothing. No matter what you explain, if you do not consider the infinite field that encompasses the universe, it will be an outer problem of the universe. If there is an outside, it must be defined as the universe including the outside. The physical constants that exist in the universe are variables, not constants. Because it is a change on the time axis of the universe level, we can see it as a constant. The nature of the space created from the oscillating energy of the huge universe seems constant in the short term. The universe we are observing is a momentary event born in a four-dimensional dynamic space. What is a four-dimensional dynamic space? In terms of mathematical coordinates, may look like nine dimensions, where I, alpha, is the expansion velocity and expansion acceleration. All phenomena are born from the enormous cosmic vibrational energy, and it is inconceivable that there is a constant in this movement. Due to the interaction of the macrocosm, the oscillation of space is constantly changing. From this lifelike movement the principles of space, speed of light, gravity, inertial mass, electromagnetic force, and time arise. Einstein defined three dimensions plus time as four dimensions. People in later generations do their own dimension plus one and say that it is ninth dimension and eleventh dimension. If so, will the number of dimensions continue to increase? Also, the mathematics that devised the dimension considers the behavior in the stationary coordinate system. Since it is static, constants can also be considered. Subsequent elementary particle theory has caused a confusion of recognition that can be said to be an explosion of nothingness. If we lived in a stationary coordinate system, there would be no life activity. Rather than discussing the number of dimensions that theorists love, I think it is important to express in words the space-time elements that exist as reality. In this cosmology, I think that it could be described as a reality that can imagine infinite space. History of Cosmology Newton's Principia, 1687, which describes the mathematical principles of natural philosophy, was an epoch-making work that integrated mass, momentum, and inertial force in mathematics. Faraday, 1831 discovery of electromagnetic induction. Foucault, 1850, confirmed that the speed of light in water is smaller than that in air. Rentgen, 1895, discovery of x-rays. Curie, 1898, discovery of radium. In Einstein's, 1915, general theory of relativity, it was summarized in the formula E equals mc superscript 2. In 1929, Hubble observed the galaxy receding phenomenon by rewinding time, and it became the Big Bang theory that started from one point. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in 2011 for discovering the accelerating expansion of space, but he cannot explain the reason for this accelerating expansion at this time. Advances in satellite observation technology over the past 100 years have made it possible to see the appearance of the universe, and cosmology has entered a major turning point. Hubble Space Telescope images of his ultra his deep his field, observation of the cosmic microwave background, confirms the observable limit of the universe. 95% of the material composition of the entire universe is invisible and hydrogen. And helium was confirmed as 5% of him. I described it as a four-dimensional dynamic cosmology, theory of everything, that relates these latest information. About 100 years after Newtonian mechanics, Electromagnetism was born, 100 years later nuclear physics was born, and 100 years later Einstein expressed the theory of relativity. Another 100 years later four-dimensional dynamic cosmology imagined a hyper-four-dimensional space, Bagefield, 
containing the universe. Here, expansion and contraction coexist and maintain equilibrium, and the oscillating energy is observed in various forms of energy. Rather than having various powers in the universe, he is believed to be the manifestation of vague fields energy transforming into various powers. Looking back at cosmology, he started writing his hobby cosmology time is force, which became the fourth dimensional dynamics cosmology in 2019. The theory of everything was the integration of four forces, but in my cosmology, it became a theory that simplified the four forces into one force. This made it possible for anyone to recognize it as a concrete model of the universe. Newtonian mechanics can explain the motion of the planets in the solar system. Newton was 300 years old, so I don't think he had in mind that mankind would go out into space, but scientific principles brought results that even he couldn't have imagined. Einstein's greatest achievement was the interpretation of relative motion, and he tried to describe the principle of outer space with a formula. Quantum mechanics tries to explain the universe by the nature and behavior of elementary particles. Also, in superstring theory, we are trying to explain the universe as quantum mechanics, which replaces the properties of various elementary particles with string vibrations. The Big Bang theory states that the universe has a beginning and an end. But where did the energy to begin come from? Also, where did the energy disappear at the end? This way of thinking that things have a beginning and an end is a human way of looking at things and cannot be applied to the macrocosm. In order for the theory to have no singularity, he needs to remain as it is, like the law of inertia. From Einstein's spatial physics to his Niels Bohr et al. Also, Hawking's theory of black holes is not a physics that deepens a concrete understanding of space. And there are endless science fiction topics such as multiverse theory, time travel, and another dimension universe, but they cannot explain the structural principle of the macrocosm. Are gravity and acceleration in space different things? Were the properties of elementary particles determined before the universe was formed? Does it make sense to think about before our universe was created? Are there other theories that explain the speed of light and the origin of inertial mass? At present, we believe that elementary particles transmit the power of everything, but what kind of mechanical mechanism is that? It seems necessary to unify the universe model before considering the superunification theory. You probably know the Mandelbrot set, a mysterious figure that contains basic elements and shapes in an infinite hierarchy. This structure is a complex figure drawn from a simple principle, but in fact it is a repetition of a simple principle. The universe is the same, and our personal belongings are filled with cosmic principles. I think that the static universe that his Einstein believed is a universe in which expansion and contraction are balanced if there is an expanding area and there is a contracting area. Our universe of 14 billion light years is an expanding universe, but when he thinks of the universe on a larger scale, it becomes a stable infinite space. What will happen to him in the cosmic model that has a beginning and an end? Cannot answer the question. Through this cosmology, I realized that the boundary between matter and energy is ambiguous. This sense lowers the barrier between the physical world and the spiritual world, and he gives birth to more and more diverse interpretations of the universe. Currently, cosmology based on elementary particle theory and superstring theory is being actively researched, but he believes that even if something is mathematically beautiful, he has a mathematical concept that expresses the shape of the container of this world. It wasn't prepared before. Mathematics is nothing but a tool that can objectively explain to anyone the principle that can be understood theoretically. I concluded that the expansion energy of the space is making the cosmic principle, but what is the space? What fills the fourth dimensional vague field? And there may be a huge space like a fluid that we cannot define, but it remains as a future problem. This kind of problem is the field of theoretical physics, and it cannot be confirmed by observation or experiment, so there is no way to prove its correctness. But there is a logical correctness without contradiction. Summary, what is the theory of everything that cosmology aims at? It is an attempt to create a theory, unified field theory, 
that describes four forces that exist in the natural world, electromagnetic force, weak force, strong force, and gravity. The electromagnetic force and the weak force are unified by the weinberg salom theory, electroweak theory. The theory that describes the electroweak force and the strong force in a unified manner is called the Great Unification Theory, and research is underway. Ultimately, a theory that describes all forces including gravity in a unified manner is considered, and this is called theory of everything or super unification theory. If the theory of everything is completed, it is expected that it will not only be able to explain the causes of force and energy in the universe, but also become the ultimate theory that can understand time, space, and the universe itself. The four-dimensional dynamics cosmology, which started from the cause of the speed of light, has finally reached a quiet Big Bang theory without singularities, and spatially expands the speed of light, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. I was able to explain comprehensively from and in March 2018 he introduced vague field to explain the cause of the accelerated expansion of space. Also, in February 2019, he noticed that triboelectricity was generated between space and matter due to the expansion of space, giving atoms an electric charge. Similarly, I think that the nuclear force can be explained as a gravitational phenomenon in a microscopic space. Originally, the working of one force, expansion of space, was seen as his four forces. This is the theory of everything. Expansion cosmology without singularity means that outer space is a smooth continuous space throughout. Does a special state of singularity occur in nature? Accepting singularities leads to endless confusion in logic. This idea became an important factor in advancing his cosmology. Light velocity gravitational mass charge time is generated from the interaction of this space expansion and matter. I think this can be understood by how to capture relative motion in an expansion space, four-dimensional space. The expansion of the universe, which is currently said, is the expansion of the space that the galaxy is moving away, but this is not the expansion of the space itself because the arrangement of the galaxy is expanding. The expansion of space can be observed as a phenomenon in which electromagnetic waves diffuse at the speed of light, but since the space itself cannot be seen, there is no choice but to guess. Instead of thinking that this expansion of space will continue forever, he will eventually slow down, stop and contract. The movement of this vague field creates the fourth-dimensional universe. As a force supporting such vague field properties, there may be a force other than gravity, such as adhesion force, or a force such as surface tension in water. The four dimensions are the three dimensions of space and the coordinate system in which the space itself is expanding or contracting. In Newtonian mechanics and current physics, we have defined the basic physical constants of light velocity, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, and time. This is due to the current cosmic conditions, and he finds it hard to believe that such a constant exists in nature. It is thought that there is a simple spatial principle governed only by inertial force in vague field, which is a container of the universe. When considering cosmology, the most important thing is that the fields we are dealing with are often very small fields. The universe as we know it is a point. We don't understand it because we are imagining a line going to the future by looking at the point. The figure of the Mandelbrot set is an infinitely expanding figure, but he contains the message of the basic form in every hierarchy. We can find spirals all around us. The array of sunflower seeds also has a mysterious structure. All natural objects are shaped by the arrangement of basic shapes that exist in the universe. If we classify and organize the natural phenomena that we can know, we may find the tendency of the cosmic principle. If there is a structure that can be shown by mathematics, I think there are many people who would like to assume that it is a creation of God. It is assumed that it does not exist. I wrote the law of inertia here, but there must be another expression, but I don't know how to express it now. When you put things in order and think about it, the natural world is very simple. When I started writing cosmology, I felt like I was entering vast uncharted territory. However, I noticed that there are very few known principles. 
As a result of organizing and reconstructing these, we were able to derive an unexpectedly simple and clear result. What kind of philosophies and religions will people come up with if they realize that this world is simple? While writing this page, I read articles about cosmology, but many of them converge in the spiritual world. All intellectual activity is guided in a deliberately constructed labyrinth. This cosmology excludes fiction and derives from known knowledge. I think cosmology is something that everyone can understand. Because the world around us is the universe itself. Anyone can understand something that can be seen, touched, and confirmed. Also, I think it should be described as such. We find it difficult because we are lost in the labyrinth of knowledge. This understanding is so important. If you notice this a big possibility will open in life after that. Escape from the labyrinth of knowledge without wasting your strength on trivial matters, and the world of love or the world of indulgence will expand to your heart's content. Conclusion In starting the description of cosmology time is force, I wondered what kind of explanation we could get when the structure of the universe was clarified in the future. His Newtonian mechanics, which formulates the properties of gravitational force, can be understood by anyone who has studied it. You can also confirm this phenomenon in real life. Even now, I think that there are very few people who can understand Einstein's theory of relativity in mathematical form. Fragmentary things I don't understand either. I got it as I went through his pages on gravitational effects and the wonders of time. In Einstein's time, there was no concept of an expanding universe, so we can imagine how novel the theory of relativity he showed in such a situation. The expanding cosmology after Edwin Hubble, the cosmic microwave background radiation, the age of the universe at his 13.8 billion years, the large-scale structure of the universe, the accelerated expansion of the universe, these have been confirmed by the development of precise observation equipment. It's a thing. While inserting these observation results, I think that we have reached a certain opinion about the cause of the speed of light, the cause of gravity, what is mass, what is time, and the structure of the universe observed as expansion. His cosmology time is force began writing in 2008. At first, he was stuck in Planck's time and the large number hypothesis and could not find an exit. In January 2010, I created a space map and solidified my image. In this image, I thought that the speed of light was a visualization of the expansion of space, July 3, 2010. In addition, he noticed that the spatial expansion acceleration of matter and its surroundings is the cause of gravity derived from this, January 23, 2011. The 2011 Nobel Prize winner for explaining the accelerated expansion of space introduced vague field in March 2018 to explain the causes of the accelerated expansion of space. Also, in February 2019, he noticed that triboelectricity was born from the expansion of space, giving an electric charge to electrons and protons. Similarly, I think that the nuclear force can be explained as a gravitational phenomenon in a microscopic space. It is thought that the way one power works was originally seen as his four powers. In 2020, we reached the goal as a four-dimensional dynamics cosmology. This is a paradoxical integration of forces, assuming that four forces are generated from a single energy by considering that the expansion energy or contraction energy of the universe is the only spatial energy and it became a four-dimensional dynamics space model that thought that the oscillating energy of the space in the four-dimensional dynamics space produced all interactions. I am convinced that the macrocosm is created by the principle of invariant absolute quantity and free interaction. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered, the point is to discover them. Galileo Galilei Appendix, Cosmology Time is Force 4D Dynamics Universe and Future We say that our world is three dimensions plus time. It is said that the time axis exists separately from the coordinate space axis of X, Y, Z. In other words, you probably think that there are two coordinate spaces. It is an image in which an infinite number of three-dimensional space coordinate systems are floating in the time coordinate system. 
Some scholars say that this is why he can consider multiple universes and is capable of time travel. In this way of thinking, there will be a three-dimensional coordinate system every minimum time. It's possible in mathematics and computer graphics, but it's physically impossible. Since computer graphics have advanced so much, he is flooded with image information with impossible worldviews. If the freedom of imagination is left unchecked, he is afraid that this society will be confused by lies and delusions, and that he will reach the final stage of human evolution with brains and will be exterminated by information and delusions. What is the basic system of units in physics? The international system of units originates from the Convention of the Meter signed in Paris in 1875. At the International Conference on Weights and Measures Length, M. Mass, Kg. Time, S. Electric Current, A. Thermodynamic Temperature, K. It consists of a system and a derived unit prefix. The seven basic units are length, mass, time, ampere, thermodynamic temperature, luminosity, and amount of matter. Derived units are units that combine base units and are expressed using multiplicative and divisional mathematical symbols. The prefix corresponds to a multiplier such as nanocentimeter giga. The physical unit system that we are currently using was established by humans for convenience and has no basis for the structure of the macrocosm. What we think is a constant is the speed of light, but how is this speed given to him? Regardless of the energy of the light source, it is said to be constant regardless of the frequency and wavelength of the light. Also, experimental observations have such results, but if the time that is the standard of velocity changes in the same way, the physical velocity for space cannot be determined. Four-dimensional dynamics cosmology considers the speed of light as photons carried by the expansion of space. Therefore, the constant of the macrocosm is considered to be the expansion rate, but this number can also be said in our time in the local coordinate system, and we do not know how the expansion rate will change in the future. And time is also a mathematical form created by human beings by setting a time axis for changes in events created by the expansion of space. Therefore, it is observed that the speed of light in space that changes in the same way is constant. Cosmological constant? Since time is a general concept that indicates the amount of change in the state created by humans, it does not exist in the universe. Distance is generated when comparing multiple intervals and can only be shown relatively. Gravity is the acceleration of space, but the expansion speed of space is not constant, so gravity is not a constant. The expansion speed of space creates the physical principle of space, but there is no standard for determining speed. There can't be a constant in the universe, right? Who decided the constant? The universe exists on the principle of inertia, which is unaffected by any influence. Whether it's moving or not, it's free inertial motion, so it doesn't need a constant or an initial value. It is said that things can only be compared relatively. However, even if you say relative, the numerator and denominator change in the same way, so they cannot be compared. The energy, the force, of the universe is the expansion and contraction of the vague field, which is momentum from the beginning. Therefore, when the energy is taken out, it is expressed as momentum. There is only one force from the beginning, even without integrating the four forces. The four-dimensional dynamics unit system is what he tries to show this whole world including the back of the universe. Elementary particle theory, superstring theory and M-theory are all theories within a limited coordinate system. Therefore, it is thought that the topmost spatial principle exists in the vague field that repeats expansion and contraction. Since all forces are a function of the rate of expansion, this is the theory of everything. Currently, Gravity is explained assuming elementary particles called gravitons, but how do elementary particles work to cause gravitational phenomena? Do you say that gravitational particles spring out of space when an object makes an accelerated motion? I think that it can be explained without difficulty if gravity is considered to be the acceleration of space more simply. The size of his coordinate system, which includes expansion and contraction regions, 
is a worldview that is several tens of orders larger than the size considered by the conventional Big Bang theory. Our world is like a tiny bubble in a dynamic coordinate system. This expansion area can be likened to a space that expands as it rises due to buoyancy, like bubbles in the deep sea. The physical principles of this world, light speed, gravity, mass, electromagnetic force, nuclear force, time, are born from the expanding coordinate system principle. Four-dimensional space and three-dimensional space. Niels Bohr and his Einstein controversy, God does not play dice, is a famous but still poorly explained one. His work on quantum mechanics Niels Bohr observes quantum behavior as it is. On the other hand, Einstein is arguing while looking at the image of the quantum. In other words, the two cannot match because they are arguing by confusing the four-dimensional space and the three-dimensional space. Since the four-dimensional space is a three-dimensional space in which the coordinate system itself expands, we must consider including the change called expansion. This is the phenomenon that can be seen when looking at the coordinate system at the quantum level. So the quantum floating in the wave cannot determine the position if the size is less than a certain time width. This is like a frame of a video shot, and you can observe the jumping appearance. No continuous movement can be observed near the minimum duration. Schrodinger's interpretation of the multiverse, born of cats, is that if he puts a random poison gas device in a box and puts a cat in it, the cat inside is dead or alive. From the standpoint of quantum mechanics, I thought that the cat in the box was a living cat and a dead cat coexisting. And life or death is determined when the lid of the box is opened and observed. I thought it was unreasonable to think that this living cat and a dead cat coexisted, and the multiverse interpretation was born. There is a universe of living cats and a universe of dead cats. Therefore, an observer of the living cat universe opens the box and observes a living cat. On the other hand, the cosmic observer of the dead cat says that there is no contradiction because he can observe the dead cat when he opens the box. Some cats face right and some cats face left. Considering this, there are an infinite number of cat state variations. That's why Maruti says he's a universe, but I think he should give up being a physicist at this point. It is said to be scientific, but he must be careful because it is also scientific to inflate delusions to this extent. What is mathematics-induced cosmology? Coordinate systems in mathematics are static there is no such thing as dynamic coordinate system mathematics. The dynamics coordinate system does not establish a reference for things. In other words, there is no equality in terms of conventional physics. When cosmology is assembled with mathematical formulas, the cosmological principle that the expanding universe and the contracting universe are mixed will be calculated. The principle of our expanding universe needs to be told by discriminating the calculated numerical values. For example, EMC superscript 2 this formula is common to the expanding universe and the contracting universe, but the meaning is different. Even if the energy E is the same, M and C are like imaginary numbers. In other words, me and CI work in the same way in space, but in principle they are opposites. Mass M is the resistance to the spatial expansion of matter in the expanding universe, but in the shrinking universe it is the resistance to the spatial contraction of matter. Similarly, the speed of light C is the expansion speed of space, but in the shrinking universe it is the contraction speed. This is due to the thought that gravity accompanies the existence of matter. Similarly, the speed of light is not a cosmological constant. The speed of light is the expansion speed of the space, and it is the contraction speed in the balance universe. So the end of the universe will not be a big crunch. When the expansion stops, gravity also disappears, so everything becomes a stopped universe. What constitutes a four-dimensional dynamic space? What exists in space, defined as the vacuum, is the force that creates the physical principles. The size of things that can be defined by current physics cannot be considered less than the Planck size. A sense of scale in the physical world. Big field 1 times 10 to the power of 35, m, plus infinity. 
size of the observed universe 1 times 10 to the power of 18, m, space of 13.8 billion light years. Our everyday world 1, m. Atomic size world 1 times 10 to the power of negative 18, m, imagined elementary particle size. The world of Planck size 1 times 10 to the power of negative 35, m, dash infinity. Since E equals mi superscript 2, if the product of the mass, the total amount of strain in the space, and the expansion diffusion rate superscript 2 of the space is constant, y equals 1 slash x, he thinks this graph as a graph with an invariant amount of absolute energy and integrates it to br. Since our cosmic energy is a part of the kinetic energy of vague field, it can be expressed as a definite integral, the difference between the values obtained by substituting the values at both ends of the integral interval into the indefinite integral. We only know a fraction and a moment of the fourth dimensional dynamic. Considering that the space is composed of elementary particles, the elementary particles are nothing but particles floating in the space, so it does not answer the question of what the space is. It is not a satisfactory answer to answer that space is made of space. The question itself of what it is made of is the cause of thinking about things. This cosmology believes that space is an indivisible space that expands itself and gives energy to all particles. Four-dimensional dynamic space and butterfly effect. We cannot predict the future of the universe from the motion of the infinite unobservable vague field. In conventional physics, natural phenomena change their states over time. In Newtonian mechanics, he discovered the laws of change in such natural phenomena, the laws of motion of bodies, and established methods of predicting future states. But both light velocity and gravity are functions of space expansion velocity. And the expansion speed of the space is thought to be changing. In one of the thought experiments, Laplace's demon obtains an impeccable initial state from which he predicts all accurate states, past and future, but in reality it is impossible to know a perfectly accurate initial state. Cannot. Even in such cases, he has often assumed in the research of the natural sciences that slight differences from the true initial state would produce only small differences in the final state. But by discovering chaos theory, we found that even systems that obey deterministic Newtonian laws of mechanics behave stochastically like random. In chaos theory, when the difference existing in the initial state in a dynamical system with some non-linearity causes an average exponential increase over time and produces a large difference that cannot be ignored, the system is said to have initial value sensitivity. The butterfly effect is an allegorical paraphrase of initial value sensitivity in his chaos theory. This property is also called long-term unpredictability or unpredictability. His butterfly effect also means the existence of long-term unpredictability, which is a consequence of such sensitivity to initial values. Elementary particle theory superstring theory and four-dimensional dynamics spatial mechanics. Elementary particles have a complex system. I think that these are the fragments that appeared in the collision experiment in the quantum accelerator and were named sequentially, but it is still under discussion whether such a classification is possible. Elementary particle physics before superstring theory defines that there are elementary particles that mediate all forces, and I would like to discover them from the natural world and accelerators. In superstring theory, all elementary particles are treated as string vibrations. In other words, it is thought that particles are observed to have different properties depending on how the string vibrates, rather than having different types. I also believe that gravity is mediated by graviton graviton. It is said that if the Higgs particle existed immediately after the Big Bang, he would not have become the Big Bang and he would have become the Big Crunch. I think that the theory of elementary particles will not be able to describe the principle of the universe as the number of types of elementary particles increases. Also, in superstring theory, the number of dimensions of the space is said to be 9 or 10, but he cannot describe the principle with this. Quantum field theory tries to explain physical phenomena from the properties of space. Does the vibration of space cause all kinds of waves and produce the behavior of matter? It does not take into account the energy that is creating this vibration. 
I think that it becomes four-dimensional dynamics space dynamics when considering the vibration of this field as an expansion space. There are two types of gravity created by acceleration motion and gravity created by material mass, but they are the same. Gravity created by accelerated motion is in one direction opposite to accelerated motion gravity created by expansion of space is created in all directions opposite to space expansion centering on matter. Gravity can be explained by applying the law of inertia as it is without assuming elementary particles graviton that conveys gravity. He calls the four forces that exist in the universe, the strong and weak forces within the gravitational electromagnetic force core, but these are aspects of how the cosmic expansion force looks and the source is the same one energy. Since force is one aspect of how energy is viewed, it is meaningless to discuss the difference. Rather, considering how the diverse universe was composed from a single energy, you can imagine the silhouette of the universe where you cannot see the whole picture. It is thought that all the phenomena we are observing, such as space, time, matter, gravity, and light, started by the Big Bang, are caused by the energy of the quiet Big Bang. I thought that the cause of light speed gravity mass electromagnetic force nuclear force time is the expansion energy of space. What creates the vacuum? The photograph is a comparison of a satellite photograph by visible light and a water vapor photograph. The world we see is the picture on the left. Water vapor is transparent, so pictures like the one on the right can only be taken with a special camera. The night sky we are looking at looks like the photo on the left. If it is a picture that visualizes the gravity intensity, it may look like the one on the right. Also, the light we see is only photons coming towards the observer. Scenes that are diffused in all directions from the light source cannot be observed. This is completely different from what you see every day. He says it's an empty vacuum space, but he's got photons flying around here. He would not say that the universe is a uniform expanse if the intensity of the energy in the vacuum is visible, if gravity is visible. The vacuum space he observes is, so to speak, a two-dimensional spectacle attached to a spherical surface. It is nothing more than imagining a three-dimensional space by calculating backwards the Toppler effect of light. Because there is no means to visually observe the space itself, the word vacuum was born. Light can only be observed by objects flying towards the observer, but the light does not fly through the vacuum space by itself, it is carried to the expansion space of the vacuum. Therefore, there is a reality in the space carrying light, but unfortunately we who are observing the limited wavelength range of electromagnetic waves cannot see it at the moment. In current physics, it is said that matter is 5%, dark matter is 25%, and dark energy is 70%. Black hole Regarding black holes, he appears in this text several times, but considering that the cause of gravity is due to the expansion acceleration of space, it is impossible for a gravity source to swallow space. However, there is a possibility that an area separated from the space will be created. This is exactly what a black hole looks like from our space. The distortion of the surrounding space remains, so the light may be bent. However, is there a star that is swallowed by a black hole that has lost spatial continuity and disappears? Questions remain. In the quiet Big Bang theory in four-dimensional space, it is a space where expansion and contraction coexist. If a black hole is born in an expanding universe, it will become a white hole in a contracting universe and everything will be reset. Since we thought that gravity is a property of matter, we imagined a gravitational field from which not even light can escape and built the black hole theory. The fiction built by this contains a singularity and there is no way to solve it. In this four-dimensional dynamic cosmology, we were able to return to a very simple space with the introduction of big field. Singularity problem A singular point is a point where the linear equation is broken. The term singularity is used in both mathematics and physics. Recently, in the field of AI, we call it a technological singularity, but this term has a slightly different meaning. I think the singularity was the result of searching for words that would grab attention. A gravitational singularity is a place where the gravitational field becomes infinite. 
The peculiarity of mathematics is the criterion by which mathematical objects considered under a suitable framework are excluded on the grounds that they are not defined, not well behaved, and so on. The technological singularity, or his singularity, is the point at which exponentially advanced artificial intelligence becomes the protagonist of civilization's progress. In this cosmology, singularity was denied. There is no non-linear phenomenon in nature. Singularity is a very human term for a theoretical dead end. Since human beings in the dynamics coordinate system are part of a very small range both temporally and spatially, they appear to be a uniform and uniform world even in the dynamism of the macrocosm. Newtonian mechanics was enough to explain the motion of the solar system. He then built the concept of the curvature of space for Einstein to explain the bending of light, which has become modern physics. SDSS2 latest Sloan Supernova Survey the telescope and CCD camera were completed in 1998, and the spectrometer was completed in 1999, and observations began. After about five years of observation, in 2005, the initial target of 25% of the sky was completed. The total number of observed celestial bodies reached about 200 million, and a three-dimensional map of the universe was created based on this. SDSS2 is carrying out the Sloan Legacy Survey, which observes a wider area than SDSSI, and the Sloan Supernova Survey, which observes type IA supernovae appearing in distant galaxies to study the expansion of the universe. The right half of this figure has been decolored into a black and white image that expresses the distribution of galaxies. It is written up to 13.7 billion light years. I think that this outer black part is the infrared part due to the Doppler effect. Nearby galaxies have a bubble like pattern, which may be due to the high accuracy of observations. Within the range of 6 billion light years to 12 billion light years, there appears to be no change in the spatial density of galaxies. Were the galaxies evenly distributed from the beginning? Anthropic principle, fine tuning, reference Wikipedia. In physics, there are values that require natural laws and physical constants appearing in them. Moreover, it is generally said that the world is a three-dimensional space. It is speculated that if they were even slightly different laws, values, space conditions, the following would not have been possible. There are atoms that make up visible objects. The appearance of the universe where a wide variety of celestial bodies exist. It emits the energy necessary for all life activities. There are stars like the sun. Highly intelligent life like humans exists. In reality, they exist and the law value space satisfies the conditions, called fine tuning. One possible explanation for this situation is the anthropic principle. Weak anthropic principle. It was Robert H. Dick who thought that the wonder that humans exist when the large number hypothesis is established is inevitable due to the existence of humans. Dick showed that the age of the universe is constrained not by chance but by human existence. He said that the age of the universe must be in a certain range, like it is now. Because if the universe is too young, heavy elements such as carbon produced by nuclear fusion in stars cannot exist in sufficient amounts between stars, and conversely if the universe is too old, stable planets from main-sequence stars cannot exist. Because the system is gone. This way of thinking that we must consider the biased condition of human existence when considering the structure of the universe is called the weak anthropic principle. A strong anthropic principle. Brandon Carter takes this a step further by stating that no universe can be observed in which intelligent life cannot exist. Therefore, the universe must be structured in such a way that intelligent life exists. He showed a strong anthropic principle. Related theories George Ellis proposed a model universe with a naked singularity to the expanding model universe, and proposed that the Earth is located at the farthest point opposite the singularity. Because the density of matter is higher near the singularity, the distribution of galaxies is not uniform and is extremely thin around the Earth. If the distribution of matter is biased in this way, the light will be redshifted, and each galaxy will appear to be moving away from the Earth. 
And the reason why the Earth is located exactly opposite to the naked singularity is that the closer it gets to the singularity, the higher the temperature becomes, making it an unsuitable environment for the existence of living things. Stephen Hawking stated that time in the universe could be reversed, but he said that such a phenomenon could not be observed by humans. When humans observe the universe, it is accumulated as memory in the human brain, but if time is reversed, the memory will be lost, making observation impossible. Therefore, the reason why time advances from the past to the future is that humans can only observe the universe where time flows like that. The four-dimensional dynamic space is a space that changes fluidly from the expanding universe to the stationary universe and from the stationary universe to the contracting universe in a time span of hundreds of billions of years. Here, the physical principle also changes in reverse, so the current state of fine-tuning in the midst of change is considered to be the environment where humans can exist. If the expansion speed of the universe increases, the current gravity will be stronger. The speed of light, gravity, mass, charge, and time are changing. Possibility of encountering intelligent life forms The picture on the left is a gold plate on Voyager for his 10 terrestrial life forms as calculated by Drake's equations. Will there be an encounter to decipher the message to this sentient being? The Drake equation can be answered by inserting variables. Here, if we express what is happening in the universe with a logical formula, when the necessary elements are extracted from the infinitely existing elements to create the global environment. Is it possible to reproduce the global environment by extracting the same elements? It will be a formula that says, this is because the denominator is infinite n slash infinity equals zero. In this way, it is thought that the same environment does not exist at the same time because the global environment is assembled by picking up from infinitely existing elements. Also, since the behavior in four-dimensional space is nonlinear, it is difficult to predict with linear equations. Since life on Earth evolved in the environment of the Earth, depending on this level of understanding, human beings can become eternal beings and may walk the path of ruin. Space Probe we are drawn to the images presented in sci-fi movies, which have nothing to do with real life. In sci-fi drama, he has no shortage of subjects to talk about, but when he actually leaves the Earth, there is nothing around him. Voyager has finally reached the edge of the heliosphere. Voyager 2 is an unmanned space probe launched by NASA on August 20, 1977 to explore the outer planetary system of the solar system. It was launched 16 days before its sister spacecraft, Voyager 1, as part of the Voyager program. It took her longer to reach Jupiter and Saturn, but she succeeded in reaching Uranus and Neptune further down the road. The only rover to visit an ice giant, she also became the first rover to complete her grand tour of Jupiter-Saturn-Uranus-Neptune. Her main missions ended with the exploration of Neptune on October 2, 1989 after which she visited Jupiter in 1981 and Saturn in 1986 in 1979. Voyager 2 has been in operation for 43 years, 2 months and 12 days now, and she communicates through the Deep Space Network. As of the end of 2018, Voyager 2 was 119 Australian dollars, 17.8 billion kilometers, from the sun and was traveling at a speed of 15.374 km per second relative to the sun, making it the fourth of the five spacecraft to leave the solar system. It is a spacecraft that has achieved an escape velocity of December 2018 Voyager 2 was officially announced to have left the heliosphere and entered interstellar space on November 5, 2018. The distance from the sun to the nearest star is her 4.22 light-years, 39.9 trillion kilometers. You can see how far the celestial bodies outside the solar system are compared to the distance from the Earth to the Sun. It took 43 years to fly 0.0446% of the distance to the next star. This is a feel-free swing-by navigation. Swing-by is a technology that changes the motion vector of a spacecraft using the motion of celestial bodies and the universal gravitational force. In the current rocket propulsion, it is a flight that approaches the target while changing the trajectory. 
He doesn't have enough fuel on board to fly straight and he can't take a flight path where he breaks and goes into orbit. As a result, it takes more time to travel, so the number of supplies to be loaded increases. In the cosmology time is force, the cause of gravity was assumed to be the expansion acceleration of space. And the expansion of the space changes the expansion speed by receiving resistance inside the material. This is what I thought was the acceleration that causes gravity. If the cause of changing the expansion speed of the space is known, it seems that the space expansion can be controlled by this method. Since it means that gravity can be changed, it seems that this can be used as a driving force. Big Science The European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, is the world's largest particle physics laboratory located in his Swiss suburb of Geneva straddling the French border. In addition to research on elementary particle physics and nuclear physics using accelerators, we are also developing useful technologies necessary for research. To put it simply, CERN is quantum collision spark photography taxonomy. You don't know the cause of gravity, you don't know the cause of the speed of light, you don't know the cause of electric charge, so how do you write a research report? I think that if you create a field that no one understands, the budget will go as planned. Succeeded in observing gravitational waves. LIGO observed gravitational waves on January 4, 2017. Gravitational waves generated by the collision of black holes about 3 billion years ago have now reached the Earth. The space-time ripples crashing on Earth were observed by a laser mirror device located in Hanford, Washington, USA, and he in Livingston, Louisiana. The gravitational waves that reached the Earth caused the space to expand and contract slightly. The size of the expansion and contraction is much smaller than the diameter of the proton, which I think is impossible for us humans to notice. The sensitivity of LIGO is so high that you could see this small distortion? That's why. Everyone thought that this story, which was discovered shortly after these two instruments were built, was too good. Then, did gravitational waves be observed after that? More than five years have passed since then, but there is no news of new discoveries. Forty years ago the term Earth simulation was often used. This is the goal of ultra-fast computers. And from that time, ultra-high-speed computers were realized, but as a result, there were no people called Earth simulations. Even if the computer is fast, it cannot be simulated because it cannot give a huge amount of initial values. Current computers will write out the same conclusions, but next-generation AI will not give the same answers. This is because the principles are constructed from individual experiences. Mathematics is a world of concepts. Rules and principles are static things determined by humans. Will AI with imagination be born? Space and humanity. Information transmission speed in the universe is the speed of light, but the speed of light is very slow at the cosmic level. The closest star to Earth is 4.2 light years away. If optical communication takes 4.2 years one way, it cannot be said that it is at the level of daily communication. Although the universe is large, the range that can be communicated is about the inside of the solar system, so it is not possible to recognize the large space as the same world. This is the four-dimensional space-time, and it is the space-time created by virtual and real images. If human civilization is 10,000 years old, the light from Jaman people's bonfires is only 10,000 light-years away, so it is about 10% of the Milky Way. The range in which we can have a sense of simultaneity in the universe is very narrow. We also know that there is a lot of water in the solar system. I don't think it's the purpose of human beings to continue to be earthlings because we will live on planets that are reasonably far away in accordance with the evolution of the sun. A Lysigis orbit is a pseudo-orbit in which an object can orbit around three Lagrangian points without any thrust. Practically all orbits of her Lagrangian points L1, L2, L3 are dynamically unstable and as a result a spacecraft entering a libration point must use its own propulsion to maintain its orbit. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched into L2. 
orbits around Lagrangian points L4 and L5 are theoretically dynamically stable and the spacecraft can remain near the Lagrangian points without propulsion. When an object placed on L4 and L5 is perturbed, the object moves away from the equilibrium point, but when the object starts to move, the Coriolis force acts to bend the trajectory of the object and draw a stable kidney bean-shaped trajectory. L4 and L5 are near-Earth space development candidate sites, but if he builds a space city here, there is a problem with materials. The same applies to the Lagrangian points of Jupiter and the Lagrangian points of other planets. Dramas like Star Wars are possible in the L4 and L5 realms, but unfortunately no other planets or planets are mentioned. In the future, he will step on various stages until the sun causes a supernova explosion. As the sun swells into a red giant star, it becomes a civilization that moves to the habitable zone accordingly. The current space development may be an instinctive action for that. In the era when the radius of the sun expands to the extent of the Earth's orbit, the satellites of Uranus may be an environment where people can live. Knowledge creatures live in information space. The age of the universe is said to be 13.8 billion years, but this is the age of the universe calculated from the Big Bang Theory. Of course, if you say that the Big Bang Theory is not correct, there is no way to guess the age of the universe. Even though the universe was created, it means that our space-time began, so he has no idea what happened before that. Human history is about 500,000 years old, but mammals have a much longer history, dating back to the age of the dinosaurs. Birds are said to have inherited the evolution from dinosaurs among modern living things. Structurally, birds have hollow bones, which are light and elastic and have a higher evolutionary level than mammals. Birds walked the path of evolution for several hundred million years and were able to realize the evolution of flight. Diamond is the best conductor current CPU circuits are made of gold, which has high electrical conductivity. Gold is a scarce resource and will not be able to reproduce itself biologically. However, diamond is the same ingredient as living things. A growing diamond electronic circuit may be realized. If AI can do it, it will evolve to this level. A self-sustaining diamond web knowledge lifeform will exist in outer space. What kind of evolution will he achieve if human beings can continue to evolve for hundreds of millions of years? What is the final form of intelligent life forms? When he thinks about it, he comes up with the diamond web intelligence. This is like an intelligent inorganic organism that uses the light energy of outer space. I think that the diamond circuit is an intelligent organism that can exist stably with the rarefied energy of outer space. I think that the human knowledge society aiming for eternity will head for growing inorganic organisms. This is an intelligent colony that exists in outer space and needs energy other than light, and evolves while moving in orbit in outer space. The ever-changing cosmic energy. The energy of all things is her dark energy that exists in the universe. And since the substance mass is equivalent to energy, dark matter and ordinary substances that exist as substances in the universe are also energy. Speed of light gravity inertial force electromagnetic force nuclear force kinetic energy of space these are the forces of the natural world whose source is the energy of all things. These can be roughly divided into space expansion energy, 68%, invisible interstellar matter, 27%, and fixed stars and planets, 5%. The Earth was just the right distance from the sun to maintain a favorable temperature for plant growth. Animals and plants took in carbon dioxide, CO2, which made up the atmosphere in the era of ancient coal records, and formed their own bodies, C, and the remaining oxygen became O2 in the atmosphere. As the number of plants increased, the amount of oxygen also increased, creating a virtuous cycle of a favorable environment for living things, and animals and plants prospered. The animals and plants that prospered in this way have become the current underground resources such as coal, petroleum, and methane gas, and are buried in the stratum. People who use fire take out this underground resource, burn it, and use it. 
This act is the opposite of what organisms consume carbon dioxide and do to their own bodies. T means that the dead bodies of organisms are burned and returned to carbon dioxide. Carbon fixation by organisms has been repeated in the history of the Earth, repeating the waves of warm and cold periods. When organisms consume all the carbon dioxide, the concentration becomes extremely low and the Earth cools down. The natural mechanisms that restore the original carbon dioxide are crustal movements such as volcanic activity and continental drift. This brings the carbon, petroleum, coal, etc., that was buried in the ground back to the surface. Since there is abundant oxygen on the ground, it burns and increases carbon dioxide in the air again, creating an environment where living things can use this to grow. This natural mechanism occurs in units of tens of thousands of years, and organisms have repeated extinction and generation. In fact, the fact that humans started using fire is an epoch-making event in the history of the Earth. A long cold period and a short warm period are repeated, and organisms evolve and prosper in a short warm period, but this act itself is the cause of the next cooling. However, man digs up underground resources and he burns them to synthesize carbon dioxide, which was not possible with natural mechanisms. When we convert underground resources into carbon dioxide, the cyclical cycle of warming and cooling is interrupted, and organisms can continue a long-term evolution that has not yet occurred. It is likely that a biological macroevolution that could not be achieved in tens of thousands of years of evolution will be brought about. Energy for living things There are no animals or plants that eat energy in the case of plants, the sunlight is received from the leaves, and the chlorophyll uses this energy to synthesize carbohydrates to create the body of the plant and grow. In addition to light, natural energies such as temperature, humidity, wind, and rain are fully utilized to sustain life forms such as animals and plants. Animals cannot synthesize carbohydrates using sunlight, but they can maintain life by taking in carbohydrates synthesized by plants and natural energy. By the way, do living organisms maintain themselves? I feel that the energy itself is a system that is made up of interactions that can be said to be a living organism. Carbohydrates are a class of organic compounds represented by the molecular formula, CH2O, N, in which one carbon atom has one water molecule. A sugar-building block that cannot be further hydrolyzed is called a monosaccharide. Many naturally occurring monosaccharides have six carbon atoms and are called hexoses, hexamonosaccharides. Hexoses, hexamonosaccharides, include glucose, grape sugar, galactose, fructose, fructose, etc., all represented by the molecular formula C6H1206. Some monosaccharides have five carbon atoms and are called pentoses. Water, H2O, nitrogen, N, phosphate, P, potassium, K, calcium, Ca, etc. absorbed from the roots are added to these to synthesize proteins. At the stage of synthesizing these cells, thermal vibration, attraction between substances, electromagnetic force, etc. act to create a tangible substance. Carbohydrates and proteins synthesized by using natural energy are decomposed by microorganisms using natural energy and restored to their original elements. Energy is the force that causes change in state the state in which energy flows makes this tangible world exist. And he feels that this energy is self-repairing him into the cosmic form he should be. I feel that this is the world of four-dimensional dynamics. Some say that organisms are vehicles for genes, DNA. Is DNA riding on living things and continuing its eternal evolutionary journey? DNA is being deciphered, but this is simply deciphering the base sequence, and since we do not know the DNA language, it is not deciphering the meaning. Neighboring cells know each other's roles and die and regenerate. I can't help but think that what is written in DNA is not just a blueprint for parts, but also the purpose of conservation and maintenance and development of the species. The structure of the universe seen in the human body. The mechanism that makes us aware of ourselves is the work of nerves called the five senses. These five elements color, reception, action, awareness these five senses confirm the existence of the individual. 
Deeper than these five senses, there is an autonomic nervous system that is independent of the cerebral nervous system and furthermore, in its substratum, there is a composite action of the independent functions of single cells, and this is the substratum biological system. Red blood cells carry oxygen and react with glucose in muscles to become thermal energy, maintaining body temperature and creating blood fluidity. White blood cells circulate in the body and expel bacteria that have invaded from the outside. In addition, the immune function functions independently of the brain's command system to create a system that classifies and eliminates complex viruses. An aggregate of these substratum functions makes up the ecosystem system. And he doesn't have another system controlling this system. Emergence is not limited to the simple summation of the properties of parts, but the properties appear as a whole. Multiple local interactions are intricately organized. A system is constructed that cannot be predicted from the behavior of individual elements. It recognizes the existence of complex systems created by simple laws such as the law of inertia, but there is no system to integrate them. The Big Bang theory thinks that there is a higher system, but it cannot explain the beginning and end. The four-dimensional dynamics system is the source of all phenomena in the entire universe itself. I think that this dynamic system is a natural phenomenon that is maintained in a mutually complementary manner. A dynamic system that exists in eternity has neither a beginning nor an end. This is the same as there is no way of knowing one's own beginnings or confirming one's own death. Various Cosmologies Steady State Cosmology Steady State Cosmology is a model of cosmology proposed by Fred Hoyle, Thomas, Gold, Herman, and Bondi in 1948. By creating matter from nothing, the mass of an arbitrary space is always kept constant. Structure does not change with time. Cosmology that the universe has no beginning and no end. In the old days, there was Einstein's static universe that introduced the cosmological term. Steady-state cosmology is based on the creation of matter from nothing, the mass of any space is always kept constant, and the basic structure of the universe does not change with time. In order to remain stationary, energy is constantly required to maintain it. In this era, I think there were many philosophical theories about the unobservable universe. Big Bang Cosmology The Big Bang is the explosive expansion at the beginning of the universe in the expansion cosmology, which states that the universe started from a very high temperature and high density state, and as it expanded greatly, it became a low temperature and low density state. According to the inflation theory, the super high temperature and high density energy mass created by the phase transition after the exponential expansion of spacetime becomes the start of the Big Bang expansion. It is mainstream now, but I can't explain his pre Big Bang. It also cannot explain what the universe will look like in the future. I think there is also a meaning to reinforce this ambiguity, but I have brought in the multiverse theory to avoid the contradiction of the one time universe but the idea that another universe exists is already unscientific. It is observed that the expansion of the universe is accelerated or not a uniform expansion rate, and the Big Bang theory is likely to become a relic of the past. Multiverse theory Multiverse theory Multiverse theory is a theory based on theoretical physics that assumes the existence of multiple universes. It is one of the physical theories predicted along with known observations and observations based on mathematics and physics based on various physically unobservable phenomena. It is often talked about in various science fiction movies and physical interpretations without theoretical backing. A simple explanation of multiverse theory is that the apples and oranges on the table are each the universe, but this does not consider the table. In this case, I think it is correct to think of the table as the only universe. Therefore, it is meaningless to think of it as multidimensional. Brain Membrane Cosmology Brain cosmology is a cosmological model that thinks that the four-dimensional space-time universe we recognize may be a space-time like a membrane embedded in a higher-dimensional space-time. At low energies, The interaction of elementary particles in the standard model is confined on the four-dimensional world plane, and only gravity can propagate in the extra-dimensional direction. 
I tried to explain the phenomenon that the gravity seems to be extremely small assuming the curtain corresponding to the fifth dimension. It is incomplete as a coordinate system and cannot explain space. Holographic Cosmology The holographic principle is a property of quantum gravity and string theory that a description of a volume of space can be viewed as being encoded onto the boundaries of a region, especially optical boundaries such as the apparent horizon. The universe resembles a hologram. Our universe, which appears to be three-dimensional, is drawn onto a surface, just as a hologram uses the tricks of light to record three-dimensional images on thin film. Quantum fields and laws of physics recorded on vast, distant surfaces are the exact equivalent of our universe. I think it's a delusion derived from elementary particle theory. How would you describe the world around you? It is a category of delusional cosmology. Plasma cosmology. What is plasma cosmology? Cosmic scale phenomena are greatly influenced not only by gravity but also by the enormous electric current and strong magnetic field caused by the motion of electrically conductive gaseous plasma, which accounts for 99.9% .9 of all baryonic matter in the universe. And, and they insist that the interaction of electromagnetic force and gravity can explain the magnificent phenomenon. Where did the kinetic energy of the gas plasma come from? If you try to explain the cause of electromagnetic force and gravity, you will notice that the term plasma cosmology is not appropriate. Gaia Theory Living Earth The Gaia theory, or Gaia hypothesis, states that organisms interact with the Earth and develop self-regulatory systems to maintain an environment suitable for their survival. It is also a hypothesis that regards the system as a kind of giant life form. It was proposed by NASA scientist James Lovelock and supported by biologist Lynn Margulis and meteorologist Andrew Watson. Gaia theory also had a great influence on the development of subsequent new academic fields such as Earth system science, biogeochemistry, and system ecology. The composition of the Earth's atmosphere is stable because the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide is maintained by the work of plants. In this way, the automatic control function of the Earth, which is borne by emergence, has begun to be recognized. It is thought that even in the macrocosm, the automatic control function created by vague fields four-dimensional dynamics works and the universe does not run out of control in one direction. I think that many cosmic images other than the one written here were invented, but few of them have been left as records, and many of them have been handed down today, including religious connotations. Einstein said that he believed in Spinoza's God in order not to be considered an atheist, but today, even if you say you have no religion, you will not be subject to religious persecution. Cosmology for scientists has nothing to do with faith and is built by reality, observation, inference, and theoretical accumulation. In this cosmology, we have explained the real image and behavior of the macrocosm without contradiction by extending it to an infinite size big field that far exceeds the size of the observed universe. There are people who believe that particles fill the vacuum space, but if they are particles, there is a gap between the particles. It is thought that the nature of this gap determines the cosmic principle. In fact, we have no clue about the nature of vacuum space, but the religious believe that vacuum energy space is God's creation. Thank you for watching. FC2HTTPS colon slash slash hikimaworkshop.web.fc2.com slash index.html